Hello, Hello guys. It's Tuesday. <laughs> yes, it is. And it's our Tech Talk Tuesday. That's right. Uh, and and the house mm. There we go. We're having some technical hello. difficulties tonight. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. hello. <laughs> there we go. Now we got to shut this one down. My God. Everything is going weird. really, 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 really bad tonight. Let's see here. We're just going to get rid of that. There we go. And we're going to get rid of this. There. Okay, my goodness. How is that for live? <laughs> We kind of got caught at the last second here. I'm. That's a Tuesday tech talk. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> we could talk about how to avoid <laughs> yeah. uh, bloopers on your live exactly. stream. Exactly. We planned all this. We just wanted to show you guys what not to do. So now that you've seen it, you'll be prepared. So. Before going live, make sure that your sound on your phone <laughs> and on your laptops and anything else around you is turned off. I, I can't. I still can't believe what that happened. And halfway to the beginning of the video, which I'm going to be fixing that next week, we're going to look at OBS or something. Um, go to the next level that we're going to be able to play proper intros and everything. That was just literally to kill time while we tried to fix the other problems. Going <laughs> I'm personally not too sure. Yes. <laughs> How oh, true. Too well, sure. hi, anyway. <laughs> yes. uh, and thank you for joining in despite our technical yes. difficulties and bearing yeah. with us. Uh, great sports. It's so amazing to see you all guys already out there. Yes. Um, don't forget to tweet out the stream, the more the merrier. Uh, tweet it and like it, share it. Um, love it. I love it. Uh, uh, yeah. Smash it, whatever smash else. Smash it. Yes, there. yes, yes. We're going to smash it. Yeah. And smash that button. <laughs> What's up, everyone? No, no, no. Why can nobody ever do that right? That's just such an easy one word, but he even tried with other people. Nobody can get that right, no, including no. myself. Or I'm not no. sure. And we're not going to copy that. I want to take a second right now to acknowledge somebody here in the chat, and that is That Murder Inc. Amazing channel. This guy has his first test live stream tonight today excuse me i think it was around four o'clock eastern in his pickup truck with his two daughters just a test written right there test and what is he at one point he has like 26 people in there it's unbelievable i, I was so impressed <laughs> yeah and very supportive people i'm hoping some of them will come tonight uh that marine if there's anybody that you know that you'd love to have here we'd love to have them because it was amazing the energy going on today in your channel like our <laughs> channel like our guys like Terrell, who is here right from the get-go, honestly, a great, great supporter since the very beginning. The Midnight Raven, so glad to have you here. I was, I catch her, um, her streams. Uh, it, it's kind of nice too. Love the hat, by the way. You really got, she's got a style to it. I don't know. I think we got to up our game on that one. She's, uh, uh, no, you're beautiful. <laughs> oh God. All right. How to win by point <laughs> of your wife <laughs> on Tuesday night? Okay. Today yeah. is not relationship yeah. talk. So. Yeah. Uh, well, vegans, kiwis to pistachios, uh, uh, also welcome. It's uh, glad to see you here too. Yes. And of course, a big shout out to our mom today, train man. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for being on even before us and yes. uh, overseeing the chat room. Ian, you're back. That. Well, I'm honored. Uh, I don't delve too much into everything personal about us, but Ian is actually a childhood friend of mine. We went to high school together as well so i'm really glad to have him here he's looking at getting into youtube he's starting uh, looking into making movies and that and that's well, great you're in the right time yep. and right place you have lots you of people around you lots of great ones harvey danger films i love that name yes <laughs> i love that name i don't know how you guys think of these amazing names sometimes i can i can see it coming on the screen yep <laughs> Well, it's such a play. The Robin Kamala Danger. Gonzalez is in too. Uh, uh, hello. Yes. And Ervin um, the Paid Tourist. Hi. Uh, lots of new faces. Yep. Some old faces. Great faces. Returning Great faces. faces. Yes. yes. There's no old faces in the bunch here. Well, I've got some white on me, but the rest of you are pretty young. So. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Mucho bien. Yeah. <laughs> this is my uh, Eastern accent. <laughs> a man who always knows how to make a presence. Yes. <laughs> that is Joe's uh, call du jour, we'll say. <laughs> always such a pleasure. Amazing talent. These new video rock borrowed something, our intro from us, and I think he made it a little better. I'll yes. give him credit for that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. A great creator, a great supporter, and human being. Yes, uh, exactly. Yeah, um, 
it's nice to meet with you guys like a lot of you guys are such creators and i mean so inspiring that's what's hard about this because we love doing the live stream at the same time too you're inspiring me so much to get like i don't know with you for probably for photos as well yes for sure but for video like you you're making me just want to get down and edit and i haven't sat in front of the editing chair in a while now i'm not sure if i remember how to do it so yeah like we mm. were talking about that yesterday how much inspiring that other people's work is you know it's amazing yeah. to we, we talked about some video channels and some photo channels so of some pro people yeah but also about uh us creators yep, exactly. <laughs> the, the, uh, and how much inspiring is to watch oh you guys' channels and to learn from them yep. and that's why today uh when we tweeted out about our tuesday tech talk uh we said it's uh you and i have questions yep. and you and i have answers exactly uh, because we took we can figure it the, out all together the mission of this channel is to get going i'll say it every time we're on live is we're all a team and we don't know everything and love the questions and love seeing you guys helping each other out, whether it's supporting them by growing their channels, whether it's giving them editing tips, uh, everybody. And what I appreciate too is, and I've been meaning to say this is how friendly everybody's been to each other. That's what I'm very proud of in our channel is to see that kind of com camaraderie going on between you all. Cause in the end, we all want the same thing and we're all in the same boat. So it, what a better way to do it than to work together and grow together and help each other out collaborating uh somebody needs to know something about which editing program to use or how to do something in one of those editing programs or how to shoot uh let's say I, oh real canadian uh lunker hunter <laughs> i love that name by the way a joe ian boucher there's another fellow canadian here creating as well so definitely help each other out all these help each other out no matter what country you're from <laughs> We're universal here under one flag, if you will, when we're on YouTube. <laughs> so I was going to say under the Pusha flag, but I, I don't want to make it sound like that. We're uh, we're under what all together, just supporting each go. other. Trayman, that's great. Exactly. Yeah. Trayman's up to 97. Yes. He's, I love the drive. I love the drive. It's nice to see somebody enjoying growing. Yeah. He appeared on our uh, uh, live stream just, I think, a week ago. Yeah. No. Two weeks ago. No, that was Preserver. <laughs> No, no, uh, just to, just chat in the chat. Oh, the chat. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, sorry, With sorry. 42 yeah. uh, subscribers. I would like to have Tree Man on sometime. Yes, sure. <laughs> Definitely. And uh, 42 subscribers. And now he's up to 97. It's yep. growing. It's exactly. unbelievable. Yes, so staying active, yep. being active in other people's channels and now we're live streams. Guys, can you share this on Twitter and share with your friends? Uh, the more we have in here, the more we're all kind of growing together. It's not just for us, it's for everybody. We all grow from that one because we all get to mingle with each other. Like Trey Man's a great example of that, and I see him now the same as we did. We're kind of a bit of a different boat in that we're not a specialty channel, and a lot of people we met here are specialty channels, which is great. And what I especially love is somebody who is into woodworking is now liking a hiking channel or a cooking channel and vice versa. That's what true support is. And we're, you know, we might find a new hobby where we're partially interested into but never followed or maybe find something completely new that we never thought we'd like and uh, you you get to support somebody and at the same time you get to grow as your, uh, yourself and also you can do great collaborations between channels that don't have the same uh the, the same specialty that's another great thing too there's lots of great ways to combine that you can have somebody great with cooking and somebody great in hiking you yes. know the, 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 and I'm, i keep bringing those ones up today i think that's why i was looking at a lot of them today so I think somebody's hungry. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly <laughs> somebody didn't yeah. eat their dinner tonight because that murdering had an amazing 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 stream today i was so impressed by the turnout like just boom 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 right time right place he's got a great bunch of followers and i got to meet some really great ones today too so everybody wins from it so and i hope we can do the same here always at this channel as well Sorry, guys. I really, really, really need coffee right now. <laughs> yeah, Trainman is from Canada too, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Trainman. I meant to add you in that list. I like that. Stan, the uh, Jack Comp Extras, founder of Patreon, ready to make it crazy. And Casey Neistat deal time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the question is: Is Casey Neistat ready to make a deal with uh, him? Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know what do you think, Joey, but I don't think uh, that's going to happen. It kind of goes all against everything what Casey Neistat was about, but who knows? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a great idea. Yeah, it's yeah, a great definitely, business model sure. and definitely would jump uh, Patreon up, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, 
Canada rocks Montreal too. <laughs> it's like a different right? country. I'm surprised it took this long for that something like that to be said. So. Canada yeah. and Montreal. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just for the record, I've always been very, very, very uh, federal. So, but yeah. Uh, Treyman's from Vancouver. Yeah, amazing city. I love Vancouver. I would love to go there. We, uh, I have been as far as Golden yep. in BC, uh, and I would love to go uh, up to the yep. other coast uh, one day. Uh, I, I hear it's really beautiful there, and it has early spring. Do you have early spring this year? I'll get yeah. back to the weather because yep. I miss sun so much. Um, Montreal does totally rock. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Very much so. Uh, Montreal and Gaspé rock. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, they do. Right. That's right. And don't forget it. Well, Dunn Brother yesterday was also talking yes. about Gaspé uh, and, the, and the fishing trips. Yeah, we uh, talked to there. We talked to the Fagor May and the. Well, yeah, that's right. And Ian was there for that as well. A A O K Forging and Adventure. So glad to have you here. Oh, I, I, I'm. For, if you had to pick a place to come for a quick break and be really appreciated, you really picked the right one. Thank you so much for coming. The Good Cell Life, always a pleasure. So many great supporters. I mean, some of you guys, I mean, we've spent, this all kind of took off for us around Fe the beginning of February. And a lot of you guys had, you know, almost since the beginning. So it really means a lot having you guys in here. Yeah. So you guys get channels grow too. It's been quite a ride, so to say, very unexpected, um, yeah. but uh, very appreciative, though, for it. So. Definitely. Real Canadian uh, Lonker Hunter says uh, St. Catherine Street needs to be cleaned up, though. Yeah, it does. It's actually going through a huge renovation. This year, starting yeah. this year, actually, right now. For anybody who doesn't know, that's the main, st the, 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 the main street in Montreal, and they're actually going to put a canopy over the whole... Uh, Oh, I forget how many blocks it was. It's supposed to be like what the world's biggest or something like that. Yeah, like a, a blow up. Yeah, thing, uh, that was gonna be good in winter and and summer yep. and heat up sidewalks like in Iceland. Yeah, and Reykjavik. The difference though in Reykjavik, it's all natural. It yeah, comes from underneath. The, I mean, we all have hard work too. <laughs> There's just a little less, a little more to dig here to yeah, get. Yeah, I don't it. know how they would do here, how sustainable it would be, but they are yeah. not doing it anyway, so we won't know. So, yeah. but they are renovating it. So exactly we'll see in a year, I think it's yep. finishing it. Okay. Montreal's a very interesting city. It, it, it's um, like we've only said, it's the, probably the most North American place. A big city kind of too, really, in some ways. But Montreal's that pit legal city for, it's like a bridge almost between Europe and uh, the rest of North America. It's got a feel to it all its own. It's uh, it's uh, artsy and, and wild and gritty. It's kind of got a bit of New York and Boston into it. It's got a lot of Europe into it mix. Actually, a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of your major movies that you watch major blockbuster movies especially if they feature montreal boston i believe philadelphia a lot of them are shot here because the dollar was a bit lower and a lot of the streets that you'll see and these side shots and that i mean are are shot in montreal uh what was the one bruce willis um yeah uh what death wish that they brought back was shot here in montreal oh by the way do you think the death wish is the christmas movie drop a <laughs> yeah. comment in the chat box <laughs> I think <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think uh, it's the eternal discussion. We're is mixing them right up because Death Wish uh, was uh, Charles uh, Bronson, the original movie, and uh, that was oh Die Hard, Die Hard. You're thinking of yeah, Die Hard Christmas movie. <laughs> uh, Notebook uh, oh. was also done here. If we're talking oh, about God. the chick flicks, <laughs> we weren't, but I guess we are now. <laughs> well, if we're putting it on the contrary, Island Aesthetics, welcome. Because I think we kind of missed you last night. At one point, this time we talked with you, but uh, we had caught you after you left. So I definitely want to catch you right away. So glad to have you here. And definitely, if you get a chance, go back and watch his uh, uh, interview with us we had last Thursday. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. By the way, Catch Me If You Can was filmed in Montreal Airport. There you go. Uh, yeah. Uh, the movie was I didn't uh, know Leonardo that. DiCaprio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, the good life. No, it's not a Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm I agree. For somebody put that. I agree. I say it is, but yeah. So we're kind of on the we're yeah. on both sides here. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. eternal discussion about that. the good cell life. We started this the year at 41 sub. Now I am over 850. Thanks to the great creator community. 
This is very true. You're the same story as us. We were 42 in February, and we cracked uh, 1K. It must be, what, two weeks ago? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. Just before these uh, live streams all started. So, yeah. Yes. You, is X-Men uh, X, uh, was shot here as well. That's true. We actually started live streams, for those who don't know, as a kind of like a shout-out celebration for our uh, yeah, thousands. Yeah, it was supposed drivers. to be a one-time thing. It was supposed to be a one-time thing, and now we're on the live stream number 11 uh, yep. every day except for Sundays. Yep, exactly. 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern. And we've gotten to the point where we're actually, even though this has been a short amount of time, we kind of miss you guys like on Sunday night. It feels kind of weird not having you. Um, we sleep. Yeah, we sleep. Yes, and I was passed out the other night. My daughter put me to sleep. Which I'm she still waiting does. for the comments if somebody wants to see how you're sleeping. No. Like if I can tune in on yeah. Sunday and it's going to be like well, a snore fest. Then the next episode will be how to talk to a divorce lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to replace it just the tech talk. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's right. That's right. <laughs> then yeah. yesterday's joke is going to become serious. Uh, for those who haven't seen the joke from yesterday, you gotta go back and, and see the yeah. beginning of our video. Yesterday. Poor TriStar was all worried about Yeah, I know. Her. She's not here now. I know, I know. Small. This is like one of the first times ever. Yeah. TriStar, where are you? Well, okay. oh, uh, also, sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, did you did you mention Rod uh, nope. uh, Rob Hoffman yet? He's here as well. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, it's, it's nice to see a lot of familiar faces. It's always great to be with you guys. Yes, and the variety of channels, it's amazing. As well, I was yeah. saying, you know, there's such a broad variety of interests. We're, and, we're a snapshot of YouTube right here. Yeah. That's what's really cool about this. Well, uh, today is Tuesday Tech Talk, uh, uh, as we were mentioning. Uh, yesterday, we already touched on some very interesting uh, uh, subjects of uh, tech, uh, yep. uh, edit and photography and camera gear. And is it okay to film your video with a phone? Yeah. Uh, God, we almost did uh, 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tuesday Tech Talk. Thanks for coming by, uh, Real Canadian. If you get a chance after, like we'll be yeah, on from 8 by. to 10, so we'd love to have you again. Yeah, and come Thanks by, like, coming. and comment uh, yep. afterwards. Um, and if you get a chance, check out some of our older videos as well. Before we did the live stream, uh, you'll see a lot from uh, rural Quebec and that, uh, including the, uh, the windmill train seems to be everybody's favorite. Um, yeah, so if you yeah. have any technical questions, just drop it in a chat. Uh, yeah. We would love to talk about that. And, of course, tonight we also have a special yeah. guest. Um, I'm going to get him on the old Twitter. Yeah, uh, we like... have a very special guest tonight. Um, we're very excited to talk with yes. him um, because uh, not many people know about the behind story behind his channel because we mostly see not him. But um, is I don't know. Um, I love his show. I love his it. editing. I seen it and it's like this is so brilliant. Like I love his, I love his style of editing and that. Oh, it's so great! Yeah. And actually, he's a fairly new channel. Uh, they yeah. only opened it in January. He's got some good content. Uh, yeah, I mean, and, and it's a... amazing content. So uh, we're very excited today. Um, one, I'll try to find a way to make these all fit together. Uh, there we go. So I just sent him the link on Twitter, and uh, hopefully he'll be with us very soon. Do you want to show that uh, channel? We can. Yes, he has given. We are, always ask. He has given us some uh, the permission to do so. So let's take a look and see here. I want to bring up one. The, the, this one I was. I think this is. I forget if this was one of the first ones I've seen. Is because we only found him fairly recently. Yeah. But uh, really, really interesting stuff. Uh, there we go. Open this up. I'm going to. I'm going to put him back because we don't have much time before he'll be on. I'm hoping. So. Uh, 
Um, Oh, you sound too bad. You can't sound too bad. What is going on tonight? We're having like. Everything is just like that. So that's our guest for uh, uh, today. There. <laughs> this, guys, I do apologize. We had uh, some uh, big technical difficulties before we got on, and I think we're just trying to get caught up. So I do apologize. Uh, thank you guys for your patience and just tonight was a little bit rocky, but we'll try and get things going a little better. So thank you for your patience and, uh, just waiting for our guest to come on. Uh, and so in the meantime, uh, as you've seen, it's a bit different channel that we are used to have, uh, and maybe you used to even watch yeah. it's something completely different, a different way of creating videos, a different way of, uh, being, I'm yeah. so excited to ask why, uh, what drives um, the man behind it and how he comes up with the stories and uh, the idea for the channel itself. Uh, so very excited to, to talk about that. Uh, we're going to have uh, Sean himself on this time because uh, you can go and check out the puppet part anytime on his channel. And we're going to drop the link in the description below afterwards. Uh, but we would like to talk uh, with Sean himself and, and see what's uh, what's behind the channel. Oh, ATGH Travel, thank you for so much for coming. Bottle Caps is here. Vov Girl, welcome. I believe that's your first, your first time here. Welcome so much. Where is AJO going? Hey Joe. Well, probably going to uh, <laughs> to edit his next video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, the guys are talking about a simple um, uh, program that could be used for editing. Well, uh, like the most simple is pretty much is going to be uh, is going to be Movie Maker. That's uh, and. Um, Oh, oh my God! Uh, what do you call it? I'm I'm not a Mac guy, so I apologize. I always mix up. I know there's Final Cut, but then there's uh, what is it? Movie Maker, I believe. And, and I mean that's what probably the most simple to go. Editors, I am not so uh, familiar with for the simple reasons. I just kind of, I just won the contest with Kathy and Jesse's channel. Oh, congratulations to your bottle caps! Congrats! <laughs> Excellent, good stuff. She has an amazing channel. You we'll have to go back and watch it after because they were doing slime. I see. Yes, I know I'm my movie. favorite thing. Thank you, Train Man. I'm movie. Yes, perfect. So yes, you definitely want to start with something easy and that has uh, almost like a dr drag and drop thing where you don't have to do too much uh, coding yeah. and, and presets and all those things, um, and learn as you go. So don't dive into uh, Adobe Premiere right away if yeah. that's not something you're familiar with. You can learn on the side as you go as you do your videos um but uh, start with something more simpler for sure and the nice thing about once you start with one video editor they all kind of have the same premise at the beginning there is more of a learning curve for sure depending on the program you pick mm -hmm. but for simple to start you will pick up like it is non-linear editing so they all follow that same uh format in, in those spaces it's just with premiere or uh, DaVinci Resolve and those ones is where you get into more complex things you're able to do. And also on top of that, then you'll go into, if you do well with Premiere, you can also eventually go into After Effects, which is a whole nother kettle of fish. I've studied it years ago. I work with it a bit when I need it, but I honestly, I try to avoid it when possible because it's in its own also has a, a learning curve too. It's similar to Premiere. You'll notice a lot of the same uh, 
actions, but it's a lot more difficult. And that's from doing more higher end effects. Uh, I use it a lot for what they call 2.5 parallax. And if you've ever seen that before, that's literally when they, uh, when they take a, a picture, you'll cut it and you'll have like the background with a guy standing in front hiking and you'll literally cut the picture in Photoshop, redo the background and have the mountain behind him and him in front and give them like a light turn, almost give it like a 3D effect. Uh, Bottle Caps is using Power Director. Uh, do you uh, do you find it work? It seems to work well for you. It's doing what you want it to do. So there's another option you can definitely look into. YouTube has wonderful how-to videos as you go, says uh, Rob Hoffman. Exactly. And I preach that all the time. Even if you see a new program, or, or even you can type in looking to use uh, uh, what is a good beginner video editing program, and you'll actually see people who've done reviews on them and show you what they're how they're doing it. There's so many resources out there. It's so nice to tap into. Use use them. And there's nothing better than a video tutorial or a video review because you can pause, rewind. If there's something you don't understand, if you have to rewind it 20 times. I'm using rewind. My God, it's not like I'm talking about a VCR. And uh, just, just read up onto it through use youtube you're on youtube so you're going to get the information you need there so uh, but definitely uh youtube uh learning part where you could actually go step by step uh, uh, rob uh, is right it, it's very useful for everything actually as you go it will teach you basics uh for video editing for posting for analytics for um so if you just go and through the learning process through their um uh, how is it interface, interface yeah. <laughs> about it um step by step and go through all of the program all of the steps uh you are going to be pretty set uh, for posting great videos sorry i just got a message uh, uh i learned the basics of final cut after watching a couple of videos yes exactly uh, nowadays as andrew was saying is so easy to type just the question you have put it in youtube YouTube, by the way, is the second largest search engine after Google right now. So yeah. uh, that's exactly what uh, most of the people are using it for, is finding tutorials and uh, answers to their questions, including the questions about editing. So if you need to know something, you have a question, well, put, a, put that question in a question form in YouTube, and you're going to find videos that explain it step by step and find the one that works for you. Yep. Um, the answers are out there. And any question, I can't stress enough, I say it almost every time we talk about this stuff. Any question you pretty much have has been already answered in YouTube. So that's the nice thing about it. So you'd be very surprised. And just type in your general question. You don't have to worry about how you're going to word it. Yeah, that's another great thing about our search engines today. They're very good at understanding. I'm a great person for <laughs> writing down some stuff that amazes me sometimes that YouTube can decrypt, <laughs> but it does. And just keep learning. ADH Travel is a useful more pro uh, on PC and in shot on S9+. Plus. Mm -hmm. Um, and Trainman said that he has one video that he shot on VHS camcorder. Uh, that's interesting to see, actually. That has become a classic yep. values now, uh, film for photos and, and uh, VHS for videos. So I would have to definitely go back uh, and see it. Uh, Brother Dan, when I was yeah. young, I used to cut a bunch of vids on a VHS camcorder. It was a ton of fun. Yes, my God, <laughs> editing. <laughs> That's I the beginning that. of editing. Exactly. Badger Farm Girl, welcome. That's another one today that I got to meet in the, that murder ring. So glad you can make it. It's nice to see some uh, new faces coming in and that. Everybody get to mingle, please. Get to know each other. Get to know each other's channels. And uh, like we were talking yesterday, too, about uh, that lots of people are using um, their phones uh, to uh, make videos. There are lots of apps out there that you can use for video editing, and uh, some of them are for very simple use. You just cut and trim and yep. apply effects, and you're done. Um, what I would suggest so on the side, though, if you have a cloud storage where you could uh, eventually uh, you, you do uh, edit your video and then transfer it there so it doesn't, um, um, you know, fill up your phone. So use either Google photo storage, which I use, for example, all the time for automatic updates. So I just don't even have to think about it. It just automatically uh, throws all my uh, media stuff uh, on there uh, when I'm in, uh, in internet, when I have internet connection. 
or just create your own cloud uh, cloud storage. But uh, yeah, that would be probably the easiest way is yep. film with your phone, edit with the phone app and just throw it on a storage and and you're done. It, I think it all depends on uh, what do you want to do with your videos. Um, and as we talked, the phones are so great right now uh, that you can basically do a lot of things with them. And if, if it is a channel, uh, for example, with how to's or um, a vlog, I mean, for a vlog, you don't necessarily need a, a, you know, Canon Rebel or any kind of pro camera like that. Uh, you can do it with your phone too. So it all depends what you're doing it for. And of course, the scale side, yeah. as we were talking <laughs> yesterday, because some people can do marvelous wonders with their phones. Definitely. Uh, yeah. There's no such thing as uh, the, the too low scale of equipment or editing. It's all about the story. You might enhance it a bit, but with the better equipment, some points. I brought up again last night, Blair Witch Project was that great example. At a time when YouTube didn't exist, when indie was not even to be seen on big screen, and how it took the stage. And that was shot on as basically close to a zero budget. So it's uh just tell your story use what you got going use what you feel comfortable with and the rest will all fall into place you guys do some amazing content and look at the programs you're you're listing here so people like your stuff people like what you're doing so you're definitely doing something right nice to see you guys all supporting each other today uh rob hoffman today's phones blow yesterday's camcorders out of the water definitely definitely I mean, Sony, Apple, all them guys are throwing a ton of money. They know their cameras are probably their biggest seller on their phone. Remember years ago when we had StarTac phones when it was like, oh, you can use it uh, down inside a metric and still make a signal. And people forget today that a phone is actually a phone anymore. It's probably one of the least things it's used for, which is surprising. So. Um, ADJ uh, travels, uh, GH travels. I got my spelling. Uh, I was asking earlier what is our uh, subject today. Today's Tuesday Tech Talk. So we're kind of continuing a little bit from yesterday since yeah. we already touched <laughs> up yesterday uh, about uh, different questions about uh, tech. So if you have any questions, just drop yep. it in. Um, uh, Bobby Sidhu, hello, Pusha. Hi. Hi, how are you? So glad to have you. Thanks for coming. And we're going to be talking, you can ask questions about editing, uh, gear. Uh, video shooting, photography, uh, like we did last time, or, uh, last week. That was, it was so much fun. I think that was one of the most fun channels we did. The yeah, interaction yeah. was great. You guys helped each other out a lot. We, you know, we were seeing people passing uh, comments back and forth how to do certain things or resources. Um, Badger Farm Girl just got Osmo Plus. Did you? Yeah. Wow. Because I got the Osmo. I bought it three weeks before the Osmo Plus came out. And the reason why is we were about to buy a drone. Seen a guy doing a review. I forget his name now. He does a lot of drone reviews in the States. And he was talking about the Osmo. And we went with it because I needed something that I want for a wedding. And I was looking for the right camera and it was coming up. So I couldn't wait for the Plus to come out. So I had to jump on the bandwagon. So um, it's a great camera. Uh, all my videos that you've seen shot here, excluding the live streams, were all shot solely on the uh, DJI Osmo. Animation drawing. Welcome so much. Hi, I love your channel yes. so much. Uh, DJ, uh, oh, DJ Crimney. Hi, nice, nice to, to see, see you. It's been again. a couple of days. Yeah. We missed you. <laughs> Another great supporter, guys. Definitely these channels are to check out. Uh, just looking back here, some of the ones that... Uh, uh, taking it on a fishing trip this weekend, Bad Badger Farm. Exactly. And you'll love it. Uh, if you really feel comfortable with it, eventually look at the Z axis attachment. That really, really makes a big difference for um, walking and uh, well, pretty decent light running, too. Um, yeah, shots. the question do you have it as well or not? Because uh, it doesn't come automatically with the No, I had to buy it separately. Yeah. yeah. So do you have it or not? Uh, the question is yeah. just uh, out of curiosity. Very interesting. Uh, Tyler's here always. That's great. Tyler, another Canadian. I forgot to, uh, I don't know if Tyler's here right at the very beginning or yeah. not, but another Canadian. Lots of Canadians. Oh, yeah. That's yep. that's great. That's yep. great. 
I hope I don't drop it in the lake. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they are kind of sensitive. They're not great for like uh, if you you see a, a bird flying by, you want to take up a video. Forget it. The bird will be gone and hatched eggs at that point. You, I can probably get it going. Depends where you're at, because of course it's got to connect to your cell phone. You can shoot without your cell phone, but you have no viewfinder. That's so funny. Our last video was shot on my S9 Plus. First time I filmed a whole video on my phone. Exactly. I mean, just go look on the net and see how many people got millions of views and a video was completely shot on an S9. Well, like Brother Dan was saying before, that uh, Steven Soderbergh uh, shot an entire movie on an iPhone. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it's, 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 we agree. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of movies uh, are there going to follow. I mean, the new phones are, some of them are so yeah. much better than uh, the, the cameras, even. So for sure, for sure. Um, um, now, today, as today is a Tuesday Tech Talk, uh, we have tons of Tuesday, Tuesday yeah. Tech Difficulties. Um, and our guest is trying to sign in. Yeah. Um, Casey just fitted in Montreal and did a nice... Really? Bob Cap saying Casey just visited Montreal and did a nice drone over the city. Well, he does his yeah. drones without permission. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. He's a... I wish I was him. Uh, but we're going to go and check it out. Yeah, I haven't seen his videos I've seen his, uh, part of his latest one today. He was saying that construction was delayed on his, uh, or, may, oh, or maybe uh, maybe that was all just in his Twitter feed and the video hasn't come up yet. Is the video out yet, Bottle Caps? I got to try and pronounce this one right. Happy Tail. I hope I pronounced it properly. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. So great to see some new faces in here, guys. Mixed in with our regulars, it's such a pleasure to have you all together. Like I say, support each other. Uh, got lots of great people in here. It's a very friendly channel, an open channel. As you seen by our beginning tonight, the way things went, <laughs> it's sometimes a little off the cuff, but we get there. James is going to take that away from me soon because if I keep saying off the cuff, since he started using it for his impromptu uh, live streams, that's another thing too, guys. Also, after the stream is done, after you like comment on our video because that really really does help a lot you can uh, visit the the i'm a creator uh, uh i'm a creator site and the playlist is set up there too i know there's a new playlist or uh, not sure oh, i'm not okay. sure but it's definitely on james's yeah. channel it's on, uh, yeah on james cox's channel or not yet and uh get to meet a lot of people that are looking to support so yeah see they're already pamela is saying hi to and train man as well excellent excellent Getting our first drone, so ATGH. I hope you do. What kind of drone drone are you looking into? Yeah. Um. That's off the cuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Two days ago. Okay, Balka, because I've I've caught a few of these new ones back. Uh, I I don't follow one. But I'll definitely check that out. Gregory Salvatore, so glad to have you here. Welcome, 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 welcome. Trey Man has 100 subs. You guys are excellent. Good stuff. Yay! Love to see it. Excellent. So great. Yep. That's amazing. You guys are really good to each other, and that's good to see. I'm, I'm hoping it's you are so all growing nice from see. it. And enjoy each other's work. We're Like I say, we are a snapshot. Right now, uh, we're 18 watching. That we're a true snapshot of what YouTube small creators are. I don't like saying small creators. I always say up and coming. So, and I truly believe that because I always remind people that at one moment in time, the biggest creators had the same number as you have. And always got to remember that. And they watch their numbers drop too. And like some, we were talking today in that murdering uh, stream about. You know, losing subs, you wake up the next morning and you're down 11 from what you were the day before. There's fly-by nights. YouTube likes to do house cleaning now and then and play with our numbers. And uh, not to get discouraged by that. And just remember that the big channels, they see even bigger drops. And, you know, I've heard them talk like Boogie2988 uh, and those guys talking sometimes about losing, you know, 1,200 in a night and more. So, 
Well, the more supporters you have, the more uh, it drops when uh, YouTube goes through the filtering. You know, every yeah. so often it goes through the cleaning, so to say, and it evens out uh, your supporters, your views, your watch time. So every yeah. so often you are going to see the drop like more than usual because that's when it goes through the cleaning process. And everybody does uh, have the same effect. The more supporters you have, uh, the more you're going to see it. Philip Cochran. Cock <laughs> Cockrum. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Watching and listening. Listening to you all. Love you all. I wish I could chat with you, but my connection is slow. We'll try to connect later on. Thank you so much for listening to us. And we do hope you get to be on in a while. If your connection picks up, we do understand how that works. Just so glad that you tuned in. Uh, Rob Hoffman is far away from yes. 900, uh, so let's get him to 900. Yeah. Come on, guys. We can do this one. Yeah. Rob Hoffman, that's, that's a walk in the park for these guys here um that murder ink started from the bottom now we're here you got that right and it's grown look at your look at your stream today it was like exploding so that just shows you dj uh well uh ian Wushe got to uh got to get my first channel up and running it takes a bit of time but you'll get there you'll get there and support these people and they're good to you they'll be watching back so you're definitely in the right place to grow dj mavic is the best yep I, I I would kind of the, the 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 Mavic Pro I would say, but um, it's a, it's one of those things subjective. That's why I never really want to get into that kind of stuff, because if you had ten cameras here, everybody would think of something. Uh, one of them would be their favorites. And it's interesting yeah. to know what other what uh, different people different opinions. Like we were talking yesterday about cameras and phones, you know. Yeah. Um, and again, of course, it depends on on what you're shooting and exactly. skill level and yep. things like that. But uh, it's yep. it's interesting. Every, everything has its plus and minuses for sure. And yep. I mean, they have shrunk in size so much, like oh. just in a recent year. Yeah. Uh, you know, like pocket size thing. The Mavic, though, like I find it is a good medium balance. It's it's uh, the Spark is a bit small if you want to do video, and it's not as cumbersome as the Phantom. So it's that kind of mid uh, middle of the road uh, drone, which was sorely missing. So a good on uh, a DGI for coming out with it. Hazy days, and this is a channel I gotta check out after. I just I don't know the channel speaks right away. I gotta check out more onto it. Welcome so much. Thank you so much for coming. He was also on that Murder Inc. Uh, stream today. So glad to have you here. We're just talking about everything that goes with editing, photography, video editing. The floor is open. Uh, growing YouTube. Anybody, who, uh, please mingle with everybody as well. There's lots of supporters here. We have Rob. I'm going to mention Rob Hoffman since he just got in. Because Rob is just yeah. missing a couple from 900. <laughs> yeah. He was four away from 900. So we hope we get him up there really soon. And he's a good supporter. I can, I can vote for him. Get to the, thar get to the farm. The farm. Tonight, I don't know. It's like one big long blooper reel. I apologize so much. Thanks for dropping by today. Well, of course, it had been a little bit, so I wanted to get through. Uh, and we've been pretty good at support. I've, I've Up until recently, for every person that liked, automatically I jumped right back and watched another video, and even sometimes I tried to do two. I'm balancing things just a little bit because we were getting overwhelmed, but now we're kind of getting caught up, so it's a bit easier now. So, Because I'm always finding great videos, I, and I end up watching until the middle of the night. <laughs> because some people say, oh, well, I watched the first five minutes of 15. A lot of times I get sucked right into it. The next thing you know, the video is done. So I used two cameras in most of my videos. And the most important thing I found it two of the same make and model. The picture is consistent between them. Yes, yeah. Rob. Uh, yes, uh, less editing to uh, yeah. to conjoin the, the frames. And, yeah. and that's for sure, definitely, because every camera has its own uh, profile so to yeah. say own co own color profile and and lots of details that uh, are different like even like um maybe you can comment on the video but yeah. even on the photos for example it depends if you shoot with canon or nikon or sony yeah. you're gonna have like a reddish haze or or greenish picture uh you know uh, so definitely makes are different even just for the profiles of them that's sure. why I, uh exenia shoots raw on her uh camera for video for photography I shoot um, it's kind of like an impromptu raw where I actually bring down the presets and desaturate most of the color for the simple reason is blending between days and nights. 
and sometimes it's whenever you can do that it's good to do it and then do your color in post you don't completely remove the color but you take out what would you say 80 percent yeah and keeping the contrast yeah so about 80 percent and then that's another thing too because sometimes if you watch people like peter mckenna casey nice that's a great example of that as well they're always shooting on different platforms their video could have uh the s9 you could be using their uh what is it the canon d Five, uh, I, I mix those up. All uh, yeah, or seven. I'm not sure yeah. which one. And uh, a GoPro, and you want them all to match better. That's why you shoot them in the raw format whenever it's available, or you shoot a force raw, and then do all your coloring in in your post edit. Uh, we got. Uh, oh my God, we're just growing like crazy. Our musky Hans, always great to have you here. Amazing supporter. I'm still. Uh, I, uh, Nathan loves drums. Likes drums. Loves drums. I'm sure. And also, guys, like I said, next Monday night, we're getting a bunch of the, the music guys are going to be on here. We're going to be talking music, guitars, drums, genres of music, anything about music. It's called mm -hmm. Manic Monday. Mm -hmm. It's a one-time thing for now we're doing, but I'd like to do more. <laughs> but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, oh, we've had yeah. already a great response already yeah, exactly. before it happens. So, yeah, for Definitely sure. Definitely check us out on Twitter if you're not subscribed yet. This is where a lot of the updates come on these channels, uh, on the, 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 the shows we're doing on our channel. Coyote, Kyle, uh, 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 Kylie, yeah, Coyote, Kylie, welcome so much. I that was see, so many people are coming today that I got to meet on that Murder Inc. Uh, uh, live stream. That's what I love about these things, guys. We're all getting to mingle. We're growing together, getting to hear each other's opinions, getting to see new things that everybody's working on too. We are such a snapshot of what YouTube is all about right here because there's varied content between everybody. And that's what makes it so great. Uh, get yeah. to the farm. Did you mention that? Was looking for a music? No, you didn't mention nope. that. Uh, uh, get, get to the farm says I need to find someone to remake my intro song so I can be copyright free when I get big. FYI, mm -hmm. Aerosmith is not copy holding on my intro. <laughs> I just want to get it in the clear anyway. Well, two things. Uh, one thing, and I think Andrew mentioned it in one of our first streams, is uh, that YouTube is a great search engine for uh, copyright not music as well. Uh, you, in your new um, um, audio library that YouTube has, you can use for videos, you can actually search songs any kind of songs like the, the popular rock pop songs as well search and see uh what kind of um terms it has on the copyright where can you use it how can you use it how long uh like you can get the details on that uh also there are amazing amazing places to find um uh, copyright free music one is youtube itself there's lots of channels that actually uh has uh videos um where they feature their music, uh, which originally comes from somewhere else, but th they're featuring it on YouTube. And it actually says um, it's uh, copyright uh, uh, free. Uh, so you can actually use it uh, if it says copyright free and for commercial purposes that you can use it. So just search, put in a search on YouTube, copyright free music, and you're going to have tons of channels. Now, Andrew's going to show you how to do the search for the copyright music on YouTube. And then again, going to get back to some of the music that I used already on other websites as well. So here's a great example of a place to go for music. And it will tell you, you can preview them right here which is very cool. I know you can't hear it very well because the speakers are behind you right now. But we use this a lot. And it says, see here, you're free to use this song, where some of them, of course, will say that, okay, now I, when I'm looking for an example, they're all going to say that. But some of them will tell you, they have, I think Kevin McLeod, I see his name. I believe you, him, you have to post his link. No? Of every genre, but the, you get the gist of it. So... And some of them are going to tell you that you'll have to post a link or, uh, or uh, just put credit. And all you have to do is put, like, usually the name of the song and the, the artist that's here. You can sort if you want certain instrument, uh, duration, which I use a lot if I'm doing intros or I'm doing full video. See, here, you, here, okay, there we can sort it right there. I never even thought of that by the attribution required. Mm -hmm. So if I put that, see, there's a great example. <laughs> Very funky song. You're free to use the song you me see. We must include the, the video description and that's paste. So you just basically I'm here and 
cop oh sorry but you get the just from here down and just copy and paste that and put it in your description of your video and you're good to go uh you can also find sound effects here as well which is quite handy i actually used it for our intro when i needed the typing sounds and the clicking um it, it, this is a great place to start you can find a lot and another nice feature is where it says search music here you can type in um I'll tell you, think of a, even a big song. If you're not sure if Any you can use it or not. Any metal songs Ian yeah. is asking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll that. There you go. This is for you. Master of Puppets by Metallica. So let's see if we are got the copyrighted song. Oh, that's strange because that just changed recently because this was where I used to come to check a lot of songs. Of course, not that. Let's see. Oh, I wonder. Because it's a bit. Let's just try. Go to my bookmarks. As you can see, I have bookmarks and it says audio sources. And that's a great example of what I do. And these are a lot of the ones that I go to uh, when I'm looking to find new music. So let's, uh, let's just try Metallica. Nope. Okay. So they did take that off recently because you were able to check songs here before and uh verify if there were you were allowed to use them but they got the royalties or if you'd be hit with a copy a copyright strike so that is kind of uh I, i'm kind of sad to see that gone because it was a good reference because there's some songs sometimes you'd find on youtube and then somebody would say oh they're copyright free but then i would check them here and they actually did have a name attached to them so well maybe then we can just uh, cast can't think of a, a song right now that could be copyright free right now and would appear there yeah, well, uh, off the yeah. top, that's the but thing. But at least yeah. you can know, like, uh, you know, if it's not doesn't appear, it's yep. not free. Uh, the thing is that you can download all these uh, sound effects and and melodies and and songs. You can download them for the use afterwards. You don't have to just embed them in the video when you upload it. And uh, also, um, Facebook. Uh, they all hated Facebook, especially today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, also has a. Uh, a uh, song or an audio library where you can also uh, download them and use them. Uh, so it's permitted to use them uh, for commercial uh, videos uh, elsewhere as well, not just for use on, on uh, YouTube. And um, I wanted to mention, like, if you go uh, back to one of our um, live stream videos, the one from Saturday, the PJ party. Mm. I actually, well, it was the first time we actually used some um, music in the background uh, during our live stream. And if you go back, you can see the way I credited uh, the songs uh, because how I knew how to credit it, first of all, on the website where you usually find the songs, they usually also uh, tell you how they want it to be credited so their search engine can find it. Um, and I used a, a great two places. Uh, one, uh, and no, I don't have any endorsements through them. It just I really found them really nice uh, uh, mixes as songs, not just audio files, is Purple Planet. Um, and the other one was hook sounds. Um, loved it. Uh, such a great variety of different types of songs and actual songs, not just sound effects and the you know video reels sounds that you're used to, but actual songs that sound like something that would be coming out of the radio <laughs> instead of the background for the video. So I uh, I had that and also SoundCloud. Uh, not all the songs in SoundCloud uh, you can use without copyright, but oftentimes in the description in the about section of the artist, you can see uh, if, if it says it's a copyright or it doesn't have copyright. Uh, so I used uh, like in particular one song from there as well. Uh, so go back to our Saturday video and see in the description there are links to uh, all these places that i uh, i've just suggested to you uh take music from and also you can see example how to credit them so you don't get hit with a copyright notice now i'm going to take you back and i want to thank i believe it's on the farm who corrected me and thank you so much for doing so this has been one amazing night tonight <laughs> and you've been also not only uh patient but very helpful uh it is still available here and it she was right it's under music policies and I typed in, for instance, 1984, and you have Jump uh, Remastered Version just here, and it shows you the song is not available for use in YouTube videos. 
this yeah she was absolutely right let's try it let's try another one while we're here and see if we can get it but thank you very much for pointing that out because yeah but it used to be mixed at one time and maybe it's that long ago since i went look that's weird that's not even coming up what's that let's try van halen jump since we already did van halen hopefully they're still there there we go yeah so and there you can uh, tell so if it says this right away you can't do anything with the song don't put it on your video don't let it touch your video if it says you can be used but the rights are uh are, are the any monetary value will be given to the uh the property the, the song title holder uh, don't bother with it because it's not doing you any good yes you're uh, up and coming right now but one day you will be huge and you definitely want all your videos to be able to stay up and uh be able to earn the royalties once people go back and look at where you started from so actually a good way of doing things and no but not with Aerosmith probably <laughs> <laughs> uh is also approaching the artists themselves uh there's a lot yep. of artists young artists actually I'm, an, uh, I'm emailing back and forth with one of them right now uh that you like a music from and they are you know up and rising they oftentimes yep. don't mind you using their uh their work so all you have to do is ask, the, ask their permission yep. explain what you're using it for and if they agree to it you can use it so uh, that's a good approach too yeah I, I really hope that works out for us too because i really love her songs but uh, <laughs> um yeah and, and everybody wins it's another great collaboration so and uh, get get out, get to the firm says aerosmith doesn't come up at all exactly same as Matana. and i used to check and that's why it's been a while since i've been there because it used to be under the same tab and you're right with the policies thank you so much for showing me that but uh i guess we already know that those guys don't want us touching anything <laughs> well, <laughs> you know you see, they want to use uh, their particular song for their intro that's yeah. why aerosmith yeah i know it, I know. it, it is hard uh, there's uh, there's stuff that i would love love to use that i used to listen to and probably thank god it's copyright protected or we'd probably look like a very big uh, vh 180 special <laughs> so i guess things got to work out for a reason but uh you know in the end it's it's just the the beast we work with you can pay more money and go with uh what is the name of the one that peter mckinney uses epic i think it is yeah but i mean a lot of those guys are pretty expensive um it, it's something to look at i haven't really seen the need to go to that yet even with the videos we do for clients they either pay for them which we do on a one-time basis and for our views in youtube i'm always finding something that like i like to work with so yeah it it's nice and you'll get a uh, some of them especially if you want anything with vocals that that then yeah you're i got one song that uh, she brought the 80s to montreal video but for the most part video uh, vocals you'll tend to have to probably pay um but well, check the links that i just mentioned because yeah. there's lots of vocals there yeah. actually because i was researching the same subject before my live stream on saturday because i wanted some nice music for our old early child yep. <laughs> and uh, i was actually surprised about the variety of vocal songs not sounds but songs on, on those uh yes. websites and soundcloud i i always saw the soundcloud is like a radio and you can't really use it but there's amazing amount of of authors that they can use it and they usually are double featured on soundcloud and on youtube so you can link back to their youtube channel in the description yeah. and that's what i did so when you go back to our saturday live you're going to see that one of the songs are going to uh, link back to the youtube channel actually, i found it on soundcloud so. actually the dj that's usually featured a lot in casey neistat videos that's where uh, casey found him was in soundcloud and that's where all the links go back to is his work uh, another good thing is you find an up and coming creator that can collaborate with you. Hey, you can give them an idea of what type of music. And if you find something, they're already doing something kind of like what you're into, or they're quite versatile. I mean, there's nothing stopping them if they're into it from actually writing something for you and they get the credit for it. So everybody wins. Uh, thank you so much for coming, that Marink. Uh, it's such a pleasure having you. And thanks for having me today as well. It was so great to meet all these uh, amazing supporters. So. 
Uh, by the way, the channel before, Ray, uh, he has a beautiful piano music. And I know Miss Kathy yes. was using it before. So I'm sure if you approach him. He, he did that for a couple of channels. Yep. Uh, I'm trying to think now. I think the Fish Sandwich Show is another one. Rob Hoffman, sorry. Uh, yeah. Rob Hoffman's channel. Go over yeah. there. Check out his uh, music. And if you like it, approach him. And I'm sure he wouldn't mind that because he had yeah. been. Uh, well, we can't speak for him. He uh, Definitely <laughs> ask him. And uh, I hope he will. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, by the way, our guest, we have, again, Tuesday Tech Talks, uh, have some uh, difficulties getting in uh, there, but he's in mm. the chat. Our puppet guest, puppet gut guest, yep. is in the chat. Uh, so welcome. Um, I, we really don't know yep. what is the technical difficulty yep. behind it. It just Hangouts doesn't let uh, um, connect. Um, We're not sure what. Uh, if anybody has any idea. Uh, Please drop in, and uh, if not, I am just going and posting uh, the link to his channel in the chat. So go yes. over and check it out. And uh, amazing content! So I, I, I we got to get this fixed because uh, yeah, I really, really, I see his channel is like so innovative. I love it. I, I, I he's got his own style. It's it's interesting. It's fresh. No, no, I, I was a fan like the moment I seen it. Oh, uh, ATJH Travels just hit 560 supporters. Excellent. And We're I see bottle it. caps is 490. Yeah. So uh, let's we get, get it grow to 500. Yep. He's, and he's been here since the beginning. And I mean, he's been such a great supporter. Uh, uh, so we definitely, anything we can do to help you out, it's it's our pleasure. So, uh, Coyote Kylie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's the best way to record original music? Oh, um, hmm. uh, original music is something on its own. I am a musician part-time, I would call myself, at best. Recording is a whole different feat. And that's, if you want to go to anything besides an acoustic guitar that you can put a mic in front of, and really the line should be drawn to the to the guitar even there. It's it's not easy. I've heard of some people using software to create that. I don't know much about it. Um, it's something you'll have to sit and really watch some videos on too. And um, it's not something you're going to do in a day. Sometimes those things uh, is great to like to go and see somebody on uh, that we were talking about a while ago, an up and coming music guy on YouTube, and ask them if they'd be interested. You know, you might have something, uh, your editing skills might be more than his, and you can trade off something and make a video together, and then each gets to, to, to uh, show it on their channels. But, yeah, music is not an easy thing to do when you're uh, not set up for it. I know that's not great technical information. On it. I've ed I have edit music in uh, Adobe. Uh, Adobe. What is going on tonight? Audition. Audition. What was in the water? I don't know. Maybe it's this coffee. There's something in the water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Welcome, I can't Mill sing Hill. too much of that song because that's going to get yes. strike, so. Welcome, Mill Mud Hill, uh, Mill Hill Mud Mowers. Great to have you. Uh, Deborah Evans, welcome. So great to have you as well. Uh, Mill Hill, do you use anything for recording music? Yes, that's there. Let's talk. To, he, he can maybe give us some insight into that. Yeah, for sure. See, you came at just the right time. You knew you were going to be put on yep, the spot. Yes, we were just so. talking about yep. it and popped in. So yep. it's amazing how it works sometimes. Uh, let me get my laptop and not my phone. Short, sure, no problem. Um, Do you guys have any other questions in the meantime? And we can always uh, turn back to that one once Mill Hill joins us again. Coyote is playing keyboard. Keyboard? Oh, well... Uh, usually you just need then like a small mixer, uh, like a little Behringer mixer, maybe like a four track or something. And if you're not using many instruments, you don't need much anyways in that part. And uh, they have the ones that are set up to go through USB, uh, run them through, and then you need uh, the proper drivers. The uh, the see this is I, I I that's the gist of it. But I would definitely definitely go on YouTube and research it. Can I message you on Twitter? Email you to set up a time to chat with us, uh, Musky Hans. Definitely, for sure. Please, uh, Twitter is the best if possible. We don't use the uh, YouTube DM very much because it's it's not very reliable and, and it's not instantaneous. But for sure. Um, 
uh, Deborah Evans be back when I'm home and not driving. Oh, well, well, I'm so glad you got to pop in. Please be safe. Yeah, please on the way be home. safe. Uh, yeah, and thank you so much. If you so got to choose between driving, safe driving, and watching us, please choose safe driving. <laughs> yeah. As much as we love you <laughs> and love having you. Definitely. Oh, for sure. Um, Any other uh, questions? I feel so bad about, about our guest. Oh my I know. God. I'm trying still to solve it out, uh, yep. but uh, it's 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 hard to see, you know, when you don't see others persons. Yes, exactly. Screen, uh, but it's because uh, usually it's just the link. But he's getting the welcome. Maybe somebody in here has done live streams can answer this one for us. Uh, we send him the link to to add, and all when he clicks onto it, all he's seen is kind of like the welcome screen for Hangouts. It's not taking him to our chat. Yeah. I, I'm trying to search now for the answer. So if anybody has an idea, please, please uh, yeah. drop it in. Um, since we said uh, I, I, you and I have questions, you and I have answers. <laughs> Maybe you have answer to our question because. Um, um, yep. Ian Bushy says need a good mic for recording on my camera. Uh, yep, I definitely. It seems to be the popular one is the Rode mics, which I'm using the Rode Pro. I started off. I think it was only had it last night. This was the first one I had right here. This That's is, a nickname. Yeah, yeah, we call it the woofer. <laughs> but, <laughs> this was a it was a good it's a good mic. It's a little a little tinny, but for the size of it, it's very versatile. Powered mic, there it is, and it's uh without the windsock or the dead cat as people call it. So it, it's a good mic. It's usually paired a lot with the DJI Osmo that I have. But I, I went to the Rode Pro, and I bought that one on Kijiji. And it works just as good as anywhere else. A lot of people always want to have the latest and greatest. So if you don't mind being once, uh, one generation behind somebody else, hey, it's a great place to buy stuff. Look on Craigslist. Uh, get to the farm. The only thing I know about Hangouts is the link needs to be from an email and not yeah. something it has like worked before us yeah for twitter, we've like been doing with twitter those. yeah up until tonight but uh let's try it yeah let's see i don't know um i don't know if you can yeah. hear it um halos and heathens oh Hi. welcome so glad to have you guys there was another great interview we had that uh, on friday night yes yeah friday night that was a fun interview oh my god we i, I think my jaw was sore for two days after that uh um so nice to have you guys atgh travels ah you got a pet prog yeah kentucky kentucky catman oh kentucky catman welcome so glad you're here i i, I think that's about the sixth or seventh person that came from uh that murder inc uh, stream today yeah see what i mean that's why it's great to be in these streams guys you get to meet so many people you grow your channel like crazy. You find all kinds of great content. No, no, it, it's a win-win for everybody. So glad to have you here. We're, it's really going well again tonight. So nice to have everybody uh, checking out each other's stuff. And uh, oh, so much fun, uh, Hales and Heels. Exactly. Oh no, it was. It was. That was literally like I say. I we forgot that we were even had a camera in front of us. We just were laughing and joking around so much. Uh, Hales and heathens. I'm a heathen. LOL says Kentucky cat man. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Mill Hill. So glad to have you. Uh, we we're wondering if you record any with your uh, with your guitar on that. If you run a line in or a mic. I'm dropping in our link with Halos and heathens, uh, so you can go and check it out. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mill Hill says he uses uh, Ableton software. See here. Um, ADJ H Travels uh, were asking also what other people are using for their non copyright music and um, get to the farm uses uh, H Top Music, Flying Tunes, and Techno Axe. Yeah, they're all free, just you have to credit them in the description. Yes, there's yeah. a great variety of things. I will, I will, I will definitely check this these out too. I, uh, the more there is, the better variety you can have it. Uh, so, uh, thank you. I'm just saving it right here. This is the nice thing about this, guys. We're all getting like so much information from each other, 
and stuff that we haven't used yet or heard and never really looked into. I'm just looking on uh, Wikipedia here. Ableton, oh, I might as well share this with you guys since I am looking. Let's look at it together. Let's share the screen. There we go. A little bit. There. Okay, so it's dual platform. I mean, it'll be fine. Figure. Your software single live is designed to be an instrument for live performance as well as a tool for composing, recording, arranging, mixing, and mastering. That's from Ableton's companion hardware. They've been around for a little while. I think they used to go under a different name at one time. Um, but as with all software, you have to realize like making music, there is a curve, like a learning curve with it. It's not something there are a couple of drag and drops if you just want to have some sort of like techno beat behind, you know, you and they're called loops. And loops, you'll start off with drums, and you'll pick a bunch like oot, 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 and you'll say, Okay, that's the drum I want. And then you'll put in your hi hats, and you can use like eights or 16 beats. And then you'll add in maybe like a little chorus of keyboards or something. But it's still based on loops, it doesn't give you full, full creative uh, range onto it. But that's that's pretty cool. I think it's been around for a while. I'm, I'm just looking at it. Yeah, see, October 1st, uh, to, uh, October 30th, 2001. Been that long wow i just graduated from school uh well not school i went back to school in my 20s to study multimedia integration i used to do more of my own loops and stuff that was something i used to do but now i uh, just uh, you have to pick and choose your poisons and there was just too much to get into right now but i'd like to get back into it i still use uh adobe audition science i'll go in and i'll just cut a loop myself or if i have to edit for time on a video but yeah, I see Mill is uh Mill, Mill House. Mill Hill. Oh my god, we need like a a, a mistake cup tonight that we can throw will be rich. <laughs> <laughs> Mill Hill Mud Motor says I'm using a Foresight uh, 212 interface. Wow, you see. He's uh yeah, condenser mind. He's well set up. See, we never had that stuff because we never planned to do live. Uh, I'm using actually my Rode Pro right my Rode Mic Pro right now. That's what I'm running through my laptop just for the simple sake as it was a better mic than what comes in to uh, the laptop we're sitting pretty close to it but it would be definitely better with a condenser mic then you could get that nice baby me bc uh pb uh, not P what do they call it in the states not pb uh, public radio yeah yeah pbs no not public TV. Saying, i said the PBS. first time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i had said <laughs> yeah cbc for the canadians <laughs> there you go <laughs> Uh, did you mention that fishing with bottles is in? Oh well, oh my God, oh my! I swear to God, it's like an alumni from that Murder Inc. Uh, stream today. I I can't thank them enough. It's so nice to have so many of you here. And please check out a lot of the the guys that are here. Uh, you're gonna find lots of supportive people, uh, lots looking to check out your content. Uh, it, it, it's it's definitely the same as the stream you're on today. It's it's a family. So please feel free to mingle. We're doing questions uh, on editing, video, photography, uh, questions about YouTube. Uh, we did last night, we did a real pretty in-depth on plugins and stuff. Yeah, there was a question yeah. about uh, YouTube uh, video uploading, about tags, title, descriptions, um, how important it is. So if you're interested in that, yeah, uh, that was cool. Pretty extensive. We're talking about plugins yep. uh, as well, for sure. And analytics, as most of you have realized now, being in YouTube, whether it's been a short time or a long time, they're your Bible. They're your barometer for everything that you do here. And if you talk to any of the big YouTube guys, they'll talk about their analytics. They keep most of what they can a secret. <laughs> but with uh, social blade out and stuff like that, it's pretty much public uh, knowledge. Um, it's going to tell you. You're going to find out which videos are doing well, which ones need improvement. Uh, like we did last night with your YouTube buddy. It's great at showing you with a checklist of what you're missing. Video IQ, it really works well. Using them in conjunction. Uh, some people were talking yesterday about the difference. Oh, there's something. Actually, the difference between sometimes on your channel, it's saying you got, say, 1,170 subscribers. And when you go into your uh, control panel, saying 1,160. Usually on your control panel is your true number because the other one takes time to update itself for the for the gains and for the losses. So uh, don't be surprised. You will see discrepancies between them. Also, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of times when your video hits 300, you're going to notice a pause and you're going to see people commenting and it still doesn't go past 300. 
that's the point where it goes through a quick check and it could take a little while, but they're verifying that it's not some uh, uh, spam or any kind of uh, illegal activity or uh, going on into it. So that's kind of their numbers. 300 is where they give it a second check. So, uh, by the way, yeah. uh, as I yeah. have mentioned before, uh, the um, plugin or website morning fame, yeah. uh, I'm just going to be dropping an invite link uh, in the chat because morning fame is for invites only. So uh, pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm going to be dropping the, our invite uh, link yeah. that but we don't get any money from it. There's no, no gain whatsoever. Uh, so don't worry about that. But that's the way you can get access to Morning Fame. And it's actually a bit different way of looking at analytics. Yeah. I love it. It's it's very visual um, and a bit different approach as well. So uh, by clicking that link, it's going to give you access to the free version of Morning Fame. Uh, check it out and come back after. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tell us how you liked it. And again, it's no affiliation. We don't get any money from it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And use all those plugins together. Use everything, every resource you got. Follow your analytics. It's gonna you're gonna see where your strengths and your your need to growth uh, your need for growth is. And it is so you're doing stuff uh and you think you're doing it right and with all good intentions you're doing it right to yourself but the main thing is the analytics that's what your audience is thinking what you're doing and you will have a telltale sign of what you got to do with your site to grow it your channel needs that it's a living organism and you'll find that you'll do certain uh videos in a length that people aren't watching long enough or uh uh what would be another group like uh, it, it's hard to explain. Times of day is another great one. You'll find out what times of day is the best time to upload your video, when your audience has the best retention. These are all key things to growing on here. We love what we do as our specialty that made us want to put it on YouTube, and now we're learning how to do the video editing and the audio and putting it all together. And now, once again, it's another job, but yes, definitely analytics is there at the top. It's what helps you get seen. My thumbnails, when we talked about them last night, like I said, I've changed them four times over the span of a year. I'm getting pretty happy where they are right now, and they seem to be doing well. But it took a long time to find that look. Titles I've changed a couple of times, the format, and I found after some of them changing the title, I actually got a new surge in their views. You can't do this like three times in a day, though. You've got to pretty much find out where you're going, let it grow for a bit, and then go back, unless you make a mistake right away. But it, it's a learning process, and there's no – people promise if you spend tons of money, they're going to show you and blah, 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 blah. Half the time, I think YouTube it doesn't understand their AI anymore fully because it is kind of learning on its own. And I think they have to play catch up with it in some areas too. So sometimes when we have glitches and we're mad at YouTube, they'll never say it. But I think, honestly, they're, it's a new learned action, and they have to go and try and find out where it came from and how to subdue it until they have it again welcome james cox glad to have you you're uh, done work yeah oh yeah he's done work he uh, streamed live from work again today <coughs> the guy's a marathon man train man yes if it's appropriate and uh is it bad to upload every day Ian? is that thing uh it's you should always um you should always space them out 24 hours that's a Linus Tech Tips is a great example of that That because that's what he does. He never, ever, ever puts another video on until he's past the 24-hour mark because it suppresses the other one. And it can even hold it down for days. And I think I mentioned this. They do a paid spot every week, and they tend to usually put that one on Friday afternoon. It's usually sponsored by whoever, Intel. They've had Visa, tons of companies. Because at night they do their live stream on Twitch, which then they simulcast onto YouTube. So that paid spot goes down in rank because that new one of the, they call it their WAN show, their weekly live stream, takes precedence. So since that one's already paid for by the sponsor, they're not so worried about getting the views that the other one has. I'm a YouTube warrior, that's right. <laughs> fish got a new haircut. Oh, well, isn't that amazing? Great for fish. I love it. Oh, salut les amis. Bonjour, Manoe Fish. Welcome. 
don't worry about it Ian. that's what we're here for we're here to support each other with questions supporting each other's channels uh there's no wrong questions to ask i hope we can answer them and like i say we don't know all the, all the answers if somebody uh, a while ago uh get to the farm help me out to find that tab where they moved it for uh, youtube to find out about copyright music so and i really did appreciate that because i truly thought it was gone which was weird still i'm surprised that they um surprised that they uh don't have groups like we've talked about but oh hang on one second musky hands do different waterproof cases change how sun glares through camera i've heard they have that one the best thing to do is to go and this is not a plug and i'll take the canadian guy as i always do i guess i'm a little biased he has a lot of his tech tips but you can um austin evans all those guys mbk they all do great reviews on waterproof cases so just look up the you know type in waterproof cases 2018 I've heard some of them do that can cause it. We've never really used them. My question is, why do you want a waterproof case to remove sun glare? No, what I think he's asking though for is because he wants to use it maybe like underwater, bring it out and stuff, and he's wondering if it's going to get sun glare no. like when he's coming out okay. or if he has to take it out each time. Um, anything usually when there's, unless it's, it's permanently pressed against it, tends to give some type of glare but with the kind of coatings that they're using today in these cases i'm sure there's some that still uh that some at this point now uh won't do that but it's something we don't use like my camera is um it, there's not even an option for that that's another thing that's hard with the osmo is weather literally i have to use it like an umbrella or something in any kind of wet weather so it's definitely not submersible so but if you do find the answer please uh, uh let everybody else know here please come back and tell us that's another thing too guys Oh, you're downloading it, James? Did you uh, go to CC Converter and set in the times? That way you don't have to download the, You can download the whole video, though. Go right ahead. I. Oh, uh, welcome, Eric, the Red RC. Hey, so glad to have you here. I know you got a busy schedule, man. And I, um, Eric, the Red, if you have a chance, go check out his channel. He's got some real crazy-ass drone and uh, RC cars, first-person views, stuff like that. I've seen one really wicked one where he's actually racing it at night. It's unbelievable. So it's just nice to have you here. And I'm trying to get back to his channel because I have Eric the Red has always been kind of a stand up guy. And um, he's been very adamant that he works with his own community. He's always interested in branching out, but people who work like watching and enjoy what he does. And it's just like sub for sub and stuff. He is not interested. And so many of us were joining each other's channels course and rightfully so very hesitant and i've been i've tried to work with him and try to catch as much as i possibly could yeah eric the red i know you got a really busy schedule uh i hope you have twitter if you hear this maybe you could drop us a line i don't know how you feel but if you're interested i'd really like to have you on as a guest sometime i uh he mentioned that he's uh originally from germany and xenius from Latvia, and i like those stories i mean it's not just about the drones it's also coming here I don't know how you feel about being on live streams, but if you're if you're interested, just, just drop us a line. dropping our Twitter link again. Oh, there we go. So it's but no pressure because I know it's not for everybody. Well, then again, I said we said it wasn't for us either, but and now we're here, so yeah. And then James went and pressured us. And yeah, yeah, yeah. He us. used his cult leader status. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mad scientist is mad scientist here, Musky. Oh, yeah, there he is right there. Oh, perfect. Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, my God. It's like a family reunion. Loving it. Yes. Yeah, uh, thank, thank you, JH, for uh, reminding yeah. uh, when the video, uh, when the live stream ends and the video is uploaded, please come back, like, and comment. Yep. Tell everybody that you were there and you've seen it live. Exactly. Uh, it not only supports our channel, but it lets other people see you as well. Yeah. Oftentimes, the, the way um, uh, we do the interaction uh, with other channels and creators are we find other channels yep. and creators are by looking at the comments on other people's channels. Uh, if there is a channel that you like, you know that they are trusted, so to say, uh, you go and see um, the commenters below them and then you just go through them, see what kind of content they have, what you like, and sometimes you support them and sometimes they support you back. Yep. So comment is like a little business card 
left yes. in a cafe. Uh, exactly. People come in and they see a whole bunch of them. And the more um, original, the more interesting your comment is going to be, yeah. it, the a better response is going to get from people seeing it. The same as if they would see a bunch of business cards on the table, or right. which one they would pick. Yep. So, um, like, if you see our comments, uh, lots of times uh, uh, they are uh, more extensive and in yes. depth, especially if it's uh, one of the first times seeing and, and getting in the connection with people, because uh, you want to stay in their mind. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's know? nice to tell somebody you gave them like 25. It's great. You know, they appreciate But if you can say, you know, I uh, I love the way you were, uh, the, I love the way you were, uh, knitting that sweater and uh, oh that looks so warm and uh what kind of wool is it? it it it's nice to have somebody take an interest in what you do and that's been honestly hands down the most rewarding part of getting all the new supporters i know they're not all there to see our content i know there's some just subbing for some i know some of them will never come back to look at my page again but to have a hundred comments Sometimes there was, what, I think one of them was 300 comments. And yeah. so many people actually referencing stuff in the video was better than 10 Emmy Awards. It meant that much to me. And it means much more. And then I'm more inclined to go and check out your channel. You put in that work. It doesn't have to be paragraphs, but just to feel like somebody notices what you do. And we do lose, we don't, we lose track of that sometimes in this race that's been going on. I have my times too. Nobody's perfect here. But I really, really try to be observant of what people put time and energy into. And that we have, you know, you make videos. So you know, when you see somebody's video, you know what they had to do to make that. So really important to just give that extra five minutes or so and just really see what they're doing. Uh, Eric the Red said that he doesn't really care about all the YouTube stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, we're trying to, uh, our interviews, and, and unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to get our guest tonight, but we're going to definitely get him on uh, another night and yeah. soon uh we're trying to talk more about the people behind the channels it's yeah. not about support as much although you do yeah. get support uh, as you can see from our previous guests uh and and yes it is a little bit about the channel but mostly it is about people behind yeah because as i as i keep repeating on uh, each and every of our live stream uh, it's not the channels that connect, it's people behind them. That's right. We've uh, already done the first connection a yeah. lot of times. This is like we always said, it's like I'm a, like James is doing I'm a creator, which has joined so many people. It's been unbelievable. It's brought so many of us together that would have never even found each other. And we're kind of like I'm the creator 2.0. Now that a lot have connected there, this is the next step to kind of bond everybody together. So we're there a year, two years down the road. So we don't forget their names. It wasn't a one time. Click. Not that James is promoting that either. He's promoting exactly as well what we're saying. We just focus more on that part, and we believe by hearing the backstories of everybody, how could you forget them? That's that's you know, like when you were mentioning, uh, you'd said about like Jeremy, which I see. I brought that up a while ago. You just said that in the chat. I got to know you more by it, or why you got into drones or RCs, or why you picked the state that you live into. I find these things so amazing with people. Uh, the Corn Life Network. We had some great stories the other night. Like I still keep thinking about the one where he went into Canada for a Walmart by accident, got caught at the border. Yeah, like, those are great stories. And now when I see him, I, I have that deeper connection with him from hearing all these things. Uh, Island. Uh, uh, oh my God, I should have said that because I always, always Island Aesthetics. Uh, yes, yeah. you're correct. Well, uh, like I, 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 I call I, him our fitness channel because yes, he motivated exactly. us so much into That's getting right. into the stirring our coffee year. herder and stuff like that maybe too. some a little bit more than that yeah but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes we yeah. got to know about his upcoming trip uh, across yeah. canada in the car with yeah. his girlfriend and two friends so there's much more to the channels that you can see with your naked eye so look at james the night he was on Yes. James Cox, and we got talking, and he started talking more about, you know, and we were talking about the I'm Creator, which is a big part. But then we started talking more about what his backstory was and finding out, you know, I mean, he does have the videos that are for, uh, in the, from a couple of years ago, but he talked about activism, uh, uh, world views, you know, documentaries. Documentaries. He mentioned some famous there's travels, travels to Europe, yeah. uh, to some places. Yeah. So, I mean, we spent a couple of hours just going through all that stuff. There's so much to all of us here. That makes us passionate about what we're doing here. 
uh, Eric uh, says not uh, never has never been on live stream. Once again, like I say, we never were too, and then <laughs> we seem to be in it with both feet now, and that is hard because I struggle with that because I I'm having I'm loving so much mingling with you guys. I really look forward to this time of night now, and it's hard Sunday night when we didn't do it. And at the same time, too, I'm also missing the editing. And I'm looking, and I got projects kind of backing up, and they seem to go further and further away. And I'm I'm missing that creative side. So now, and plus with work, like we did the christening on Sunday, so now I that's a, a work one which has to take priority out of all. And kids, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of balance. But I know your feelings. Of, I I I probably felt the same as you with live stream, but. Um, it's that's why I don't pressure anybody into it. And if you feel like doing it and you would like to do it, please send us a line on Twitter. And if you're shy, don't worry. We were shy. Yeah. Our guests down uh, the rabbit down the rabbit hole. Down the rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. I was shy too, and she was so amazing. And hellos yeah. and heathens. Uh, we're too sure about it either. But that now look at them. Time, yeah. They're doing their own lives live yeah. now. James got us to do our first live, yes. and within a week we had a couple more people helping them do their first live. Oh so, my, yeah, for sure. You know, and people really do take notice of you when you're talking about you. Yes, they're talking amongst each other as well. They're checking each other's channels now, but they're always coming back and they're hearing it. It's like uh, doing your work in the evening and having the radio on behind. So that, to me, helps take away some of the shyness because I know they're not always watching the screen. And I'm fine with that. Uh, someone said they were listening to us on the way home. I mean, uh, how could you ask for a better? For sure. <laughs> you know? like a, but that's why we like interacting with you guys. And yeah. yesterday we did that on purpose. We just wanted to kind of sit back and relax and interact with you today. Unfortunately, we had some technical difficulties, but yeah. we'll get our guest back soon. Uh, some other day for sure. But uh, we like interacting with you. So, uh, by the way, Trainman oh. got uh, 102 supporters. Yeah, so, he's doing and, amazing. Uh, uh, UP4204. Hello from yes. yesterday. Welcome. Uh, uh, hi, um, Mill Hill Munmores. I never thought about doing live streams, but I'm glad I did. Yeah, right. there's a guy uh, even before us who started. Another guy. Is, I think you started with him, James, as well, and then when I and started doing your own. Uh, Musky hands. You you're talking about your song glare and camera still going back for a second. I would suggest using a filter before you put the waterproof uh, um, sleeve on it. So use your camera, F, uh, ND filter on it, uh, uh, maybe 8 or 16, and then put, yeah. put, put a waterproof sleeve, and that might fix the problem. The, so but, try that out. But unless you're doing, it's hard to do the shots coming out of water. If that's what you're going toward, you're going to almost have to pick either you're going to be dark coming out of the water or going in light and getting some glare there's usually not a middleman in that one would stitch the two uh, shots together probably you would yeah. do one under the water come out and then cut that part out and then do another yeah. shot uh, going like from the water level up with yeah. a different filter on and then stitch them together because yes it's right it's the same as trying to take one picture both in a dark and uh uh, overexposed uh, yeah. area at the same time. It's impossible. Or so. just trying to avoid the sun. And I mean, I do that. I uh, look like a compass sometimes going around just to get away from the sun. The sun can be our friend. It could be our enemy, depending what time of day it is, of course. But I, I shoot a lot with an ND16 filter because I like that heavy, darker, like I say, 80s. Well, not just 80s. I, I just like a dark cinematic experience with it. Some are shooting at 30, some are shooting at 64. I don't know how they must be like looking directly at the sun at that point. But I've read on, I've seen some guys doing it, but yeah, it's really, really bright sun and they're like fly, like drone shots and I'm flying right into yeah, it. Yeah, but if you're shooting like in a tropical water more, like uh, where it's more brighter, I'm thinking that ND filter might help uh, yes. because it, it's not as dark. Mm -hmm. And it might uh, take away that uh, overblown and, uh, and, glare. So and for editing as well, it will yeah. make your editing way easier. For right. sure. Um, Masky Hans also saying that commenting and interaction is very helpful in growing your channel. I had the forty subs at the start of two thousand and seventeen, and two hundred at the end of it, and now I almost. 1400 that's right that's amazing eh? that's uh, it's growing and the more you grow the faster you grow it's it's amazing the more supporters you have the the the, the faster is the speed of uh, uh growing anybody wondering where the sounds are coming from andrew almost like 
tripped and fell out of the window. I must tell. <laughs> We're really not having a good day today. We are all honest and transparent here. If somebody goes something goes wrong, we're telling you guys. And if somebody trips and falls, we're also telling you. And something doesn't work or the lights are awful like it was yesterday. We're also honest about it. There's no point of pretending, right? We're all all same here, learning from each other. Um and I'm looking, mm -hmm. yeah, see, you can see interaction and support right now on our chat as UP4204 is supporting Trainman, which recently just gained 102 supporters. Just in recent couple of weeks, uh, basically doubled his, uh, I, I better get that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, as he almost doubled his, uh, well, yes, he did double his uh, supporters in the last few weeks. So, and thank you again for being a mod uh, today. Uh, you're amazing, train man. Um, Eric the Red, I have a video where I crash into the tree with RC boat and camera. Waterproof camera flies off into middle of Cypress Tree, filming a fish that was hiding in there. Oh my God, that sounds that sounds uh, exciting. It's like a Hollywood movie description almost. I love the description. Do you have this description in the description of your video? Because that's exactly what I love about it. I gotta go and check it out. I'm not too much into fishing. My husband is more, and uh, I don't know if you know that, but my husband's uh, father, he just retired recently, but he used to be a guide on the Salmon River, fishing guide for years. Uh, so they are more into fishing, uh, but I just love the description. So I'm going to go and check that out uh, for sure. Uh, thank you so much for such amazing support today. Uh, in spite of all of our difficulties today and not having our guest on, which I'm uh, sad about, but hopeful of having him on uh, at his first availability uh, again. And we'll try to sort this out before we go live. Because uh, I'm really was so excited. I hope it works out next time. Um, Maskians is trying to go live about once a week, but it hasn't happened that often. Well, see, we weren't. Uh, yes, thank you, uh, thank you, Eric the Red. He's gonna appreciate that, and I'm gonna watch it too. Um, you see, we didn't even plan on going live. We, as we said, we were just uh, trying to do a celebration video, like thousand subscribers, and. Um, after we appeared very uh, doubtfully on James' uh, live stream and, and actually gained uh, 1,000 subscribers while being live on James' uh, live stream. So then we decided to just do a celebration live and weren't really planning on doing any live consistent, like it was just going to be one and only kind of thing. But then we thought, well, why not? Let's try again. And uh, I don't know, maybe we got addicted to it or something. <laughs> We got addicted um, to you guys. We got addicted to you guys, but uh, as I said, we have been doing it every day since it's eleventh one, so eleventh uh, in a row except for Sundays. So uh, one was Easter Sunday, and the other one, Andrew fell asleep as I said. So yeah. otherwise, we would have been on probably. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all my. <laughs> what a surprise! I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be filming it one of those yeah. days. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm a little surprised Railroad Preserver 2000 isn't here. Yeah, he was here yesterday. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, maybe he's up and going and, and taking a video uh, right now. Mm -hmm. Who knows? He's very busy traveling and, and with his grandmother, as you heard mm -hmm. in uh, our live stream uh, with him as a guest. The guy is like a walking encyclopedia. I don't know. I was just saying that we don't understand how he remembers everything, how he can talk for 15 minutes on any subject. Yeah. Not miss a beat, every detail, like historical time, date. It, it's unreal. It is, I only could wish I, I only wish I could have that. <laughs> uh, Mickey Wills, another one from that murder ring today. I swear to God, I, this is so unbelievable. Yeah, it's amazing. You'll see yeah. the interaction. It's got Trainman, uh, just a side note. I don't know what's going on there with you and Battle Caps. I didn't think there was anything to moderate. But... Yes, exactly. No, guys. 
we really want to just keep this one. We're not. We're just going to be very. Yeah, I, I, I think that a train man probably hit it by accident, and same as it was at the yeah. beginning. So don't take it personally, bottle no. caps, please. Okay. Uh, Matt signed is going to go to dinner. Thanks for the stream. It was fun to watch. Yes, thank, thank you, you so don't much. Don't forget to come yes. back and comment and like after the live it stream. It really uploads. does help, guys. Please. It really, really helps. Um, Eric the Red, he's going to send you a video. I don't know. Uh, I got I got to read it. I got uh, this was so amazing. I have a video, he says, where I crash into a tree with RC boat and camera. Waterproof camera flies off into the middle of Cypress Street. Filming a fish that was hiding in the tree, like I, I want to watch it. Like after this, after <laughs> yeah, this yeah. description, no, no, definitely, definitely. I, I yeah. want to watch it. So, that is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm reading it again. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, he says YouTube is difficult for me because to support the amount of subscribers. I feel a connection with it's a large amount. Yes, 100%. It's a, it's a hustle. And especially the yes. way it all blew up for some of us here. Like, uh, I went from a time where I was begging for people to watch my videos, and I love that they're there, and I feel so guilty sometimes that I'm not giving them what they deserve to not, not just even watch their vid, but on top of it, even give the right comments I would like to give. I wish I could get in discussions about their videos and my videos. I, I'm struggling with it all the time, and I, I, get, I feel guilty from it a lot uh the other what was it but three days ago we were finally at a point where for the first time ever we had to do hearts because i didn't want to pick and choose between people and I, I just couldn't do it there was no more time left in a day between work uh like i say too we still have children we have a, a 7 11 year old they need us as well 7 11. <laughs> oh my god i never thought of that before yes we have a 7 11. that's right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna... just the two of them. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Um... You're too kind, Mickey Wilson. I'm so you're really, really too <laughs> kind. Thank you. I, I'm telling um... you tonight. Uh, it's too bad it's um uh, would be copyrighted. It should be just like having the Benny Hill theme with a bunch of whistles going the way the show has been. And I love that you guys are still into it because we don't take it so seriously. It's fun. We're not broadcasters. Um, no, and that's yeah. why we, I was saying when, when you left for a second that we're we are trying to be as transparent as, and as yeah. uh, honest as possible. Like I said, like something doesn't work well, we talk about it. If yeah. if you trip, I tell about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, which if, yeah, I if heard. There yeah. are technical difficulties. Yeah. We're not trying to pretend that they're not there. Uh, we yeah. we are all the same, you know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so it, it's great that they're supportive. Musky Hans, I like to fish, so I don't want to spend 100 percent of my time adjusting camera angles to record. Bottle Cast made a comment about that the other night. Like you know, he doesn't like cutting up all of these videos and like and tons of play. There's nothing wrong with that. You, you know, it's it's some people like myself. I couldn't care if I ever shot another piece of video ever again. I wish I had a very high end computer and people were just constantly bringing me in footage to edit. That's where I really like to to do my creativity. Yours is fishing. The camera is just a tool to show people what you really enjoy. Your main skill is fishing. So yeah, you don't have. If that's not your intentions, there's nothing wrong with that. And lots of channels do very well without it. Not every one of them has to be edited like they were made in a studio. It's 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 uh, puppet uh, puppet got TV. I love editing too, definitely, because I see your work, and that's what I like about your work. I like your edits into it, because that's but that doesn't take away from me liking uh, uh, Milho Mun Mowers and his mower, which he does editing as well. I should say not not to take away from anybody. But and uh, and please go and support uh, Papa Gut TV as yes. we didn't get to have him tonight I because of so our uh, technical difficulties. Yeah. So cheer us and Papa Gut TV up and go and check his channel. Amazing, fun stuff to watch. Amazing editing, and we really hope uh, to have you on as soon oh, as definitely. you have availability yeah. again. Because uh, I'm, I'm so excited. We were looking so forward questions. to this one. This Especially the day today, that was my highlight tonight, was getting to talk to you. Yeah, about so go and support, please. Bop, uh, just press the three buttons on the uh, right side uh, by the name and, and go and check the channel and support it, please. Um, uh, Custom Cards is still in here, yes. as I said, so hi. Yes, <laughs> I was just about to. We were going through all the things. I even had rolled back to where you came in, just to make sure I mentioned you. Uh, Custom Carts is another one we found and just been such an amazing supporter as well. Reese Millhill, Mill, uh, really God, tonight, I'm telling you, I'm tongue tied with a bag of dyslexia to boot. Reese's Mill Off Road Adventure. Oh my God. 
I'm well, glad. I'm, I feel like I'm learning English as you know, a second language a right now. A geek should come in because he has that li a long, long name after. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't pronounce no, it most of times. So I, I we stutter. Try and do that. <laughs> Stage fright. Editing is really fun, but takes time. It is, and especially when you start playing in effects because the render times go way up. Try to always like uh, I know you can do it on the more advanced ones. I'm not sure the 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 intro programs. Try to offload any effects and stuff that you can onto your G, uh, to your graphics processor because that will take some of the load off. And, and custom cards, how's it going, guys? Tonight, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I can't read that one. Bro, I think I just gave you the answer. <laughs> but we have a lot of patient, fun people in here, and a lot of supporting each other, and a lot of uh, great stories and tips. So, and it wouldn't I was so glad to have you here as well. Uh, Tara Lamrosin is still here as well. Thank you so yes. much for all the support. Uh, bottle caps, what did I miss? Um, well, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a good question. Uh, yeah. You missed Andrew Tripping. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Train Man, where are you going? We still yeah. need you. Yes, my God, you're the ten... moderator. We can't have a show we without have, you. We still have 12 <laughs> minutes of time. Yeah, so don't, don't, don't we can't go lose anywhere. You. We want to hear you're probably breaking more records. Yes. <laughs> uh, it, it's, you know, guys, it's, it's good to have a, a good attitude of yeah. things. And especially when they're so busy and life gets in a way and, and yeah. YouTube, yes, it, it takes a lot of time, but in, in a good way because it lets us to, to connect and find mm -hmm. such mm -hmm. amazing creators. But uh, so I think sometimes it just gets to uh, each and every And that's something us. very important. And I will say this. And I'm guilty of it on both sides of it. We all have been. Remember, we've all started this run, this new invigorated run at different times and different stages. And a lot of times at the moment, somebody is very anxious and ambitious. The other one is tired and fed up. And it's hard to line up. And where two days ago, that person would have said, I love your channel. I want to support you. It would have been, bang, I'm done. Let's watch each other's stuff and grow. Today, you're tired and fed up. You've watched YouTube take away six year followers overnight and you're like don't even bother me i don't care but we gotta be patient with everybody and see where everybody's coming from because like i said we all didn't start this race at the beginning it's hard to remember but people were patient with us too when we were first starting so we always got to kind of uh, help each other out and, and and if you feel that i always picture like the puppy running around the old dog that's curled up around the fire driving him crazy just remember that we were that puppy too. So, and tomorrow we might be that puppy again. You know, I, I go through that. I go through ups and downs where sometimes for days I don't ask anybody if they want to follow us. I don't. And then other times I get into it and I'll find a channel I really like with some great subscribers or I'll go on the I'm Creator playlist and find some new ones that are added and get into that. And I can do it for hours. Uh, Trey Man, what is TY? That's thank you. James uh, Cox, Rome was not built in a day. Exactly. 100%. We uh, all work really hard to get here. And it's just the beginning. Yeah, YouTube is yeah. a marathon, our guest is saying, uh, not a sprint. That's right. You got to be consistent in everything, <laughs> in, in posting, in commenting, in supporting. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, it's, uh, it's for a long run. Uh, by the way, I just seen James. So you're having Island Aesthetics on this Thursday. Oh, is he? Yeah, excellent. Just seen his uh, announcement. Very good. Uh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. He's uh, he's a great, uh, smart young man yep, that speaker. has uh, so much more than just uh, uh, fitness. Amazing though, yep. but so much more than just uh, fitness advice. So uh, that's great. You're having him on. So Eric the Red, very afraid as YT is enjoyable, but keeps me from accomplishing things. I do agree with you on that. And that's, it's like, we need a balance here. We don't want to live. Um, I worry sometimes that YouTube becomes as in uh, engulfing as games like uh, where Xenia and I met, we've seen some of the people in Second Life who are spending 20 hours a day. And we were for, for a while. For those of you that don't know, uh, we met each other on the game called Second Life. Just yes. an update for people <laughs> who just that's right. didn't see our previous live stream. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Just to hear this conversation about YT is actually unsettling to me. I, I, and I get that. You, and it's a very valid point. And uh, you, I, I had to pull myself at one point because I felt like the old expression, I couldn't see the trees for the forest. And some days I feel like I go into it too far. Some days not full enough. 
Uh, we're trying the live stream has been new to us so that's been really really just like threw a whole new angle into our uh, our life that we weren't prepared for and i found like last week i was getting to the point that everything was just eating too much into our day-to-day -day life uh i would actually talk to people on phone as if i was replying on facebook on youtube like you know like uh thanks for coming enjoyed the chat you know at those kind of answers i would notice i was even saying verbally not just writing them so it's it, sometimes you gotta back off and because uh, you remember it's your passions that first inspired you to pick up the camera and film them and go on here and find other people with those passions so you don't want to lose those passions you don't want to lose those hobbies that first started you it's great to build in here but it's also great to have a life i i don't want to live in youtube i want it to be enjoyable in the end i want to create for it but i don't want to live for it and i think that's the same with any platform you know we've seen it with facebook uh Look how many people in their 70s that hated computers and now they live in Facebook. You know, it just shows you at any age and any learning uh, uh, learning uh, uh, scale that people can get drawn into these things. And you, it's like anything else. It, it can become a real addiction. So you got to be careful with it and find out what works for you and what's a manageable time that you can create, enjoy other people's work, and not be engulfed by it. Like, so. we uh, started this channel uh, completely different reasons. Uh, yeah. We are actually, we are actually a, a business, a photo and video services business for, for, uh, for business promotions and for family, like events, weddings, and things like that. Yeah. That's our main work. And um, uh, this YouTube channel was mostly to post some of clients' works, but mostly like a hobby parts, uh, yeah. like cinematic uh, things on the side uh, that Andrew was doing, because Andrew is the one that does video part in our business. So uh, it wasn't for doing the YouTube thing. It, right. it was a place to uh, show off Andrew's work, yep. uh, the same as I use Instagram for my photos. Uh, so that's how we started. So it definitely wasn't intended the, the yeah. way it is now. It was an outlook. It was a way for me, an outlet for me to do stuff that you don't do in client videos typically. To try, like I always said about growing, that's what it was for me. It was a chance to do things that I don't get paid to do. And I have a golden rule with any video on YouTube is that I have to learn three techniques that I never knew before per video. I'm pretty good at sticking with it. Sometimes I learn more than them. I try to. And that's why I always say to go to YouTube. Go to YouTube for inspiration. Don't go to copy it. And go to YouTube to look for tutorials. You're going to find amazing things. And you do them your own way. You don't need to do the line for line as they show you. They're just suggestions. And I, oh, Eric says, all, all is well, but honestly, enjoyed it more when my channel was smaller. Of course, because there is more work comes with it, and it is ringing, and more guilt and more feeling be, being pulled three ways from Sunday. So I, I, I fully on. Uh, oh, by the way, welcome DV, so DV dubs. Uh, and Craig Betts, who should have said hi earlier, but have yeah. been listening. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so glad you were listening. I honestly think the appeal with our live streams, everybody has a voice. And I really think that people just see that we're genuine people just like you. And I think we're thinking a lot of the same things all in this group here. And sometimes we feel that, you know, nobody's understanding which is normal in any group. If you sit in a, a, in a classroom or a, a shop floor or anywhere, people have a lot of the same concerns because you're all uh, involved in the same area. Yes, we all have different interests, but the main part of it when we're here is YouTube. So uh, we've always tried to be pretty transparent. As Xane said, well, go our follies and all. <laughs> but we don't want to be here and put on an act and we don't want to be here and oh everything is always perfect or everything is downright miserable i mean we're everything just human awesome. mm -hmm. like the lego movie sorry we have a 70 year old so. yeah i thought i finally forgot that song <laughs> <laughs> uh, craig betts are you canadian just a question Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mill Hill Mud Mowers. Uh, he's, uh, somebody must ask him what stream. He said, no, I didn't see uh, Pusha Studios was streaming. I didn't want to overlap them. What a gentleman. And we that's why we're trying to keep the same time. We try to do it desperately because we don't want to overlap on anybody. That's 
there's these inside squabbles, and I appreciate so much what you're saying because I do see it sometimes, and you do as well, Millhill, the squabbles and stuff. And I think you're a lot like me. I'm trying to stay as far away from that as possible. Yeah, Reese's Milhoff yeah. uh, was asking if uh, Millhill got to stream, uh, stream a second time tonight, so he chose us instead of that. Oh, so and I, we're honored. And honestly, check out his streams and check out his mowers. We haven't talked about him in a couple of days. So his the the the, the mowers are amazing. Lots of mud. Lots of bogging and a really, really intelligent, articulate guy. I, he's he's great to listen to. I want to call him a rocket man. I know. Yeah, now, I know. I know. I, I, I know too. that yeah. nowadays association with rocket man after yeah. a certain someone is not the one that I mean, but the original rocket man. Uh, yeah. Kentucky Catman, Daddy Judy is complete. I'm back. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, Bottle Cap saying that wedding video you guys did was the best. Oh. Which one? <laughs> but thank yeah. you. I think I think though I know which one he means. Uh, oh, welcome JJ, the karaoke rideshare driver. Oh, thank you. Amazing. She sang the other night karaoke on the stage, and it was like I thought because I clicked it and I had to go get something and came back, and I thought she was actually listening to the song for it. So it was her. Oh, unbelievable! I gotta go check it out. Yeah, big uh, time. I I love I love her channel so much. Um, I knocked myself off the topic because I I don't want to acknowledge what was the last part. Uh, we were talking about Mount Hill uh, and that he chose yes. our stream instead of streaming to his own. And about like the talent and stuff like that. And and uh, ever since he told us, oh, about the rockets. Yes. Yeah. Rocket like like he, the guy worked in a, 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 like a club and stuff like that. About, and he's uh, knowledgeable in rocket fuel and rocket propulsion systems and stuff like that. That's what I love about these kind of talks. I mean, you look at their channels completely differently after because you know more about them. To me, that's the most amazing part of all of this. Yeah, JJ, I sing your songs. Like I was saying before, when I watch them, your videos, I uh, I, I sing them along. So for somebody <laughs> who doesn't know and haven't checked it out, JJ has a uh, Uber uh, special Uber drive uh, where she gets her yeah. um, guests uh, sing karaoke. It's so entertaining. I just love it. Um, and Reese's Mill of Road Adventure says, smart move, Mill Hillman Mowers. I like Pusha Studios, Verdict Squad, James Cox, and you. And it's hard uh -huh. to choose which stream to go to when they're all happening at once. Well, thank you so much. And I like that that we're all complimenting each other, thank like you. as That's our sweet. channels and that. It's nice to have this. This are all like sub communities. They're all part of one big community. How great can that be? Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Yep. Thank you. Eric uh, the Red, I, I do seem to enjoy live stream. Both of your personalities are appealing. You know what I like about Eric the Red? Whenever he gives a comment, I know 100% he means it. Because I like he shoots from the hip. And I do appreciate that. Because that is something that's sorely missing here sometimes. So thank you so much. Uh, our guest uh, says you guys have really fun and informative live streams. Technical difficulties. And all. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. We're yeah, trying. exactly. Exactly. And it's hard sometimes. It's one of those things. Like everybody has those days. You get up in the morning. You stub your toe on the way to the bathroom. You, you spill your coffee. <laughs> Sunday's like a train and then live stream is like that as well and I found that the hardest part at first was worried like terrified and we start making a mistake or something like that yeah. but you know what mm -hmm. the proof's in the pudding it didn't go quite as we were hoping tonight we still have 19 people here right now 19 20. there 20 <laughs> I guess somebody heard me <laughs> you know uh, no, it's it's amazing, and yeah. I think that I, I think in anything really the the best approach is to be the way you are and yeah. be honest. It's no point of pretending somebody you're not. No, nope. um, it's uh, can be seen quite quickly through. So uh, it's just easy here, and I think it's it's, it's better. Fun. I mean, it's more fun for us, and I hopefully don't, for you guys too. Myself, I couldn't keep up the act for two hours because I would fall apart. I would end up, uh, I would slip, and then so what's the use? My old takeaway it is. Uh, I take you guys the way you are, and uh, that's our community. I mean, and, uh, what a better way to work than that. And mm -hmm. So bottle we, caps stuck at 497. We have a couple more minutes, so yep. let's hit that 500 for bottle caps. Yeah, Kentucky please. Catman just got them, so he should be four, uh, 498, 498 now. So. so two more. And bottle caps is a really great supporter. Uh, ATJH travels have to leave right now. Go, oh. thanks for all support yes, for thank studios. you so much. Uh, yes, thank you so much. And come again yep. tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're yep. having a guest as well. Hopefully, it works technically. Yep. Uh, very also very different and interesting. Exactly. Desk, uh, uh, guest that usually is not on the live streams, and actually, I don't think have ever been on the live stream. Before. I don't believe so. So, uh, 
check out tomorrow from yep. 8 p.m. Eastern, definitely. Uh, uh, Phil Cochran, sorry, lol. <laughs> You're getting the repeats. I see that. Well, that's okay. I like your, I like your enthusiasm. Yeah, that's fine. You know, <laughs> we never even thought more, but I actually enjoyed seeing it. I know you're. I know what you're like. You're not the spammer type, so I had yeah, no yeah, worries no, whatsoever. No. I don't know. Train yeah. man uh, got locked somewhere. Uh, yeah. But uh, he the, he just also is learning the same as we are. Yeah, exactly. That's why everybody's got to have yeah, patience yeah. with each other. We cut each other some slack, you know, the, the world's a little easier to take, so. Okay, let's go see. Um, 498. 498. Two cut. more. Yep. Let's get two more for bottle caps. We I'm sure. I'm it. sure. We I'm sure we got the people in here to do it. Uh, Ian says, can't wait for tomorrow night. Yep. Well, we can't wait to have you there. Uh, this is something. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Supporting each other is great. Okay, we need yeah. two more. We can do it. Yep. They can do it. Uh, can you get him on a... Uh, yep. You know what I mean. Yes, I do. You see how we understand each other yeah. from half this... Scary thing? sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. Um, 499. Oh, he hit 500. Da -da -da -da. He hit 500. Yay! He got, he got it. 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 Let's share this. Good stuff. Excellent. Bottle caps got five hundred. Excellent. Amazing. Good Thank stuff, my man. Thank you so much, everybody, for supporting bottle caps. That's great. This to is see. a community. Yeah. It's so amazing. Yeah. That's yes, nice to see. Yes, train man sub to as well. So he probably hit the five hundred one. That's great. Yeah, Love or custom guys. cards. Never know. Yep, they exactly. The same time. It was a team effort. Goal and assist. I love it. Yes, amazing. Yep. Congratulations. It's it's so great to see this. And bottom Look, captain, he's at 502 already. 502, and it's yeah. growing. It's yeah. amazing. Yep. You're so great. Uh, thank you, guys. You guys uh, make it so much fun. Yes. This is so great. Yeah. Yes, congrats, Bottle Caps. Look forward to watching some of your vids. Yes, uh, great videos. Yeah. Uh, uh, drone shots. Um, drone videos, amazing. Like, see now, like, look, Mickey is first time here tonight. I don't believe him and Bottle Caps knew each other. Look at that. Good job, uh, Bottle Caps. I love that kind of support like that, how we can just find people, you know, that we never even had a connection with before and all of a sudden supporting. There's no jealousy, no animosity. It's everybody working together. And definitely go yeah. and check the videos. Watch some of the videos after the stream. Uh, they're really nice, uh, mm -hmm. scenic uh, videos. I, I enjoy them a lot as well. If you're, he's, uh, He really does uh, British Columbia justice in his work. So. Yes. How nice is that? Yes. That's, I, I, you know, it, yeah. I think... Uh, Despite all of the difficult difficulties, that's so, right. <laughs> uh, this this is amazing. See, things do work out, and it's always good to end on, uh, have a high note. And look at look at everybody's congrats. Okay, Eric the Red's at five ninety nine, folks. Come on, we got to get him to six hundred. <laughs> I know, I know he's, and he is very true to his his craft. So one more hit yeah. for Eric the Red. One more hit. Let's see here. Yeah, come on, guys. Five ninety nine. We can do that. It's so great to see this kind of support. Yep, it's, it's so cool. Great content. Yeah, the night flight. He has and he does his uh, his blooper reel, and he does it with sound effects and stuff like that. Comes up with some amazing stuff, stuff that you'd never think of doing onto it. ACMR Ross, uh, where were you hiding? Yes, <laughs> the greatest live streamers ever. Thank you. Oh my uh, god. Thank you. We were so active yesterday. Thank you for listening to us today, and please come back tomorrow. Uh, we're having a guest tomorrow. Let's do a refresh and see where we're at, guys. Oh, uh, I forgot to put it back to the home. <laughs> <laughs> the only fitting, right, Eric? After the show we had tonight, six oh six. Okay, <laughs> so much for five ninety nine. <laughs> Holy, Eric the Red, you have far surpassed uh, six hundred. <laughs> that is amazing, six oh six. Congratulations, and you got great. You, I know it's hard to keep up with some of the of the, 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 the supporters and stuff, but you got great talent. You deserve to have it seen. Kentucky Gunman, YouTube bringing the world together. Forget Fox, CNN, MSNBC. Just spend time with YouTube friends. That's oh right. Oh, my God. Cheers I love you. that. I'll have to make that into a sound bite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Yes, everybody supporting each other. It's so great to see this in the chat. Uh, yeah. I wish I could help. I already subscribed to him. Yes, I wish we could hit that button twice. Mm. I've, I don't know how many times you go to somebody's channel you're supporting and they're like a 9.98 and it's like, why can't I just, you know, I'll yeah. go support with my daughters and my sons. I'll try and track down anything. To... Custom cards, you're going to get there. Uh, you're at mm -hmm. 4, 5, 4.55, I think now. 4.66. Come back tomorrow and uh, I think we might might get you there yeah uh tomorrow yeah so you guys it's looking really good 104 subs for a train man um bottle caps 504 jj i don't even watch regular tv anymore exactly we don't even have it hooked up in the house and we have shows to watch on netflix and stuff we're falling behind on all of them because we watch so much youtube yeah but there's some great stuff here like you know it's more what i want to watch i'm realizing that more and more Hollywood's not listening to us. Uh, big YouTube creators don't always listen to us. But we're listening to each other. And we make good stuff, guys. Never forget that. Us up-and-comers, we make good material. TV, what's that? Is that exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We haven't had uh, a cable TV for a while now. Um, watch both slavery thing on internet. Yeah. And that's... Uh, I love you guys' work. I like seeing your new videos. I try to get every one of them. And that's why I like what Eric said tonight. He tapped into that. There's such guilt comes with it something because I just know I miss some sometimes. The feeds are coming in and you try to get what you can. I watch them sometimes just in the morning while I'm running to get a job done or I'm going to the bathroom back and forth, you know, we're getting ready for the day and it's running in the background. I'm not watching, I'm listening because I definitely want to try and watch and comment as much as I can. Yeah, UP uh, for two oh four uh, watches uh, Daredevil and Punisher on Netflix. I actually uh, just uh, binged watch Bla uh, Black Mirrors, and I must say, this is one of the shows that is very different and very amazingly good. Um, I kind of fell behind, so I had to watch all four seasons uh, in a binge watch, but it was worth it. <laughs> so <laughs> Black Mirrors, I loved it. Uh, I loved it. So smart. Did you um, see what uh, bottle caps wrote? I have to thank Pusha Studios for discovering me in the first place and introducing me to the rest <laughs> of the world. Oh, I remember it was me that was the first seen your videos. This is so amazing, and that means I, 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 that's really nice this to say. So sweet. That's uh, I don't want to do this alone. I don't, I, I want, and I really, really, really take pride in seeing where you guys are going, and I mean. We're not the biggest channel on the internet and i could be oh, going no. like digging for subs day in day out and probably been bigger than what we are because i seen in the first run i was eager <laughs> very eager and i shot up and it was a lot but i it's the balance between everything and, and i started to slow down the pace a little bit and enjoy more what i was watching at first it's like collecting like in a scavenger hunt yeah you're going for lights going for like <laughs> oh my god i got another stuff i got another stuff but now I'm trying to pace myself a little bit more and just um, enjoy what doing while still growing. And I really am glad to see when you guys come in. And especially like if I go to a stream like today and see so many show up from that stream in here and you guys get to meet them and you guys get a conversation going and you really like their channels and you guys become the best of friends or whatever happens. It's amazing. What what amazing world we live into is my old expression for that stuff, you know? Uh, Eric Thoreau, I can't use the internet at work, so total personal time. Yeah, exactly. I understand. Like, we work at home, and even then, like, you know, it's a separate between. That's even harder sometimes because then i got to separate our actual work from our YouTube work. It can become a very gray line sometimes, and then one suffers the other. So a lot of times I – oh, okay – uh no i'm just uh, oh okay you never know when sandy's got a camera and i don't like being in front of them i was just trying they're to... not taking a picture of you don't worry about <laughs> yeah. God, for somebody who has white photographer he's really wary of the camera i am uh, this, this is i find this is one of the hardest things i've ever done in this craft is the live streaming having a camera in front and i if you notice the camera there now i'm looking directly at it i'm almost always looking here at the laptop reading what you guys are writing because it helps me forget that I have a camera going. <laughs> uh, Pusha Studios, do you have a rough estimate of how big the hashtag I'm a creator community is? Well, last week when we had a, uh, I'm a creator marathon live stream, I was actually looking uh, at the stats. So you can go back and see. Um, 
at the beginning of it where I'm talking, uh, yes, and also some laughs afterwards. Uh, but uh, back then, so yeah. well, last Friday, uh, it had a reach of five thousand in an hour. An average reach of uh, five thousand in yeah. an hour. There was average of hundred tweets an hour and uh, two to four hundred retweets an hour. Uh, depending on the day and the hour. So. I just want to say good night to Mill Hill Mud Mowers. Time to go to bed. Have a great night and great live stream. Thank you so much. And uh, definitely, uh, we want to catch yours as well, keeping an eye out. It's so hard at the time sometimes just to line in. I know people is too with ours as well, but I really enjoy it. If you get a chance, check out Mill Hill. He's got a really, really good live stream and a great supporter, guys. Uh, JJ Carey, we have so much supports. I really try to interact with as many folks as possible. I want to be a good support. Exactly. Uh, it's worth it to lose for that day and been a good supporter of the ones that you do have. And we try our best. But like with the live feeds, especially with YouTube, it only goes back so far. So once we start to get our channels bigger, all of a sudden there's so many feeds coming through. Unfortunately, YouTube is filtering through them. And they're also passing through because there's only, I think, what, 20? I think it holds. Yeah. So, you know, the ones that you've missed and the other ones bumping it down. Like, I can see the bell white, and sometimes 10 minutes later, there's, like, plus 19 marked onto it. Uh, have nine supporters on YouTube did not tell me who it was. Thank you for the people who did that for me. Yep. And try to leave a comment when you can, because that's the best way for them to come and support you as well. You know, most people are more than willing to do that, because that's how we build and, and then go from just one-time watches and, and really keep it going. So Yeah, if you go and support the channel, try and go back after and comment on yeah. the video. And then don't say that I supported you, number 32. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, just leave a comment and, and say, uh, you know, let's keep in touch. Uh, love your videos. And usually people mm -hmm. then go and check your video back. A train man was supposed to. Let me go back and see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, he's asked us to give train man 54321 Productions a shout out. Well, there's your shout out, 54321 Productions. Tell him to come uh, tomorrow yes. uh, in the live stream. And Definitely. We can, uh, do it in bigger numbers. Well, tell him about the support you got by being in here and as well as with the I'm a Creator movement and uh, tell him to come on in uh, tomorrow night at 8 and hopefully we can help him as well. I'm sure a lot of people love to see his work too. Mm. Okay. Uh, JJ is waiting for <laughs> posting a new video because most won't watch the current one, which is some of my best singing. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, I think your singing is good to be. Yeah, with. exactly. I, I mean, I enjoy every and each of your videos. So, yep. no, no, uh, we are looking forward to your new uh, content. So. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that should be picked up by like Netflix or something. Yeah, like they got something that's that's back up to AT to get Kyle Mummy Rose. Welcome. My God, tonight it's amazing. So nice to have you all together. And make sure we're also everybody's been supporting each other, growing channels, talking about editing and stuff. Um, balance, yeah. Philip Co yeah. Uh, Cochram saying balance. Well, I can get back to Joey's video with balance that talks about. Yes. Balance. It a, actually talks. Yeah. If you get a chance, check out A Joe's latest video. That's the Canadian E H J O E. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with them. Uh, I, uh, Fishing with Bottles. I love that name, by the way. I'm out. Cool stream. And I'll check out some more of your other. Yes. And please do, guys. I, I really appreciate you guys having you guys in the stream. If you get a chance, though, too, if you can go back and look at some of my previous videos, that really does mean a lot. Um, because we're growing so fast and now in the live streams, which I couldn't be happier about, and I have no qualms about it. So glad to have you guys here. But yeah, if you can check out some of uh, my favorite ones, is all, I think would be the uh, She Brought Back the 80s, which features my niece into it, to Montreal, and uh, the Windmill Train, which was almost all my videos are shot in eastern Quebec, where I grew up in the Gaspésie region. And... Uh, I, I would I hope you get to see those as well and know where uh, what also what I do outside of live streams it really does me a lot and the same the links are using the description of those videos uh, I gotta update them for the live streams I've been pretty bad at that part because uh, I also check out Instagram and uh, and see what Xenia has done with photography Xenia is uh, represented for instance last year I think it was National Geographic or the year before 
the year before, yeah. Yeah, she represented Quebec in National Geographic for Canada Two Day. Two years ago, was emerging photographer of the year. But yes, what a life. yes, that's right. <laughs> Uh, but uh, we can find us on all major social media uh, yep. profiles at Push Studios, <coughs> uh, the same handle for everything. So just uh, put it in the search and you can find us. Jada Diva just joined us. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Jada does a lot of stream. I watched last night, Jada. Uh, I was watching your streaming music, I believe, or something. I th it was right around when I was going to bed and I actually put it on the phone and sat it down and was listening. It was last night or the night before. Uh, I'm just going to be posting now a link to our See Them All uh, um, playlist. Okay, ASMR Ross. Uh, I have a Panasonic HVX200 camcorder that claims to record in 720p. But the files, according to my computer, say the resolution is 960 by 720, not 1280 by 720. Ratio is different. Yeah, that's just a setting for ratio. You just go into your settings and go under, uh, yeah, so usually under camera settings, and you're going to see ratio, and that will fix that for you. Uh, Mickey Wills is taking off. Oh, got to go, guys. Uh, up, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, they're going in so fast, got to go all I'll be back tomorrow. Good job. Well, thank you so much. Uh, such a pleasure to have you here. So glad you got to come out and uh, spend some time with us. Kentucky cat, man. Got to get up early and go fishing. Get meeting you. Good meeting you guys and have a great night. You too, and I hope you can come back tomorrow night. It was a real pleasure having you. Thank you so much for coming. I re we really do appreciate it. Oh, my Felicia, <laughs> the Felicia Crows uh, 93. How is everyone? Great. So glad to have you. And yes, bottle caps. We we should get JJ on live uh, and and do some singing maybe on Monday for yeah. the music session. The music ones are tricky. It's just because of copyright issues. That's the only thing we're watching. So we're gonna try to keep it more maybe something original. Also, by the way, yeah. if you're interested in music on Monday, uh, following Monday, we're gonna have Manic Monday with lots of interesting guests uh, talking all music and guitars. Yeah. And Reese Mill Off Road Adventure asks, What pictures do you have hanging on the orange wall? I have been trying to figure it out every time I'm here. Yeah, a lot of people ask about that one. We should uh, do a, like a share screen, some one of yeah. the streams, and actually show what we have there. I'm just going to tilt up on this one, but we have them around the other places. This is from a backpacking trip that I did in Europe a couple of years ago. Well, not backpacking, I went by train and I did 12 countries in uh, 15 days, and they're in order of the countries that I visited. And uh, the middle one is my favorite because Xenia is the photographer. That's one of the few ones that I took that I'm really proud of. But this was uh, Ljubljana, Slovenia. And I that's my favorite because it was so, such an unexpected, beautiful place. And I put that picture as my, my background on my computer a lot. I've used it on Facebook many times. Uh, and the rest of the pictures... Actually, a lot of these pictures you can see if you go back just before the live streams. The last video I posted was uh, uh, Europe in three and a half minutes. And a lot of the pictures that I use there, these ones are black and white, but there I did color, are in there. Uh, Matt Cook, Oregon, is there a fight? <laughs> I hope no. not. <laughs> no. Just trying to get JJ singing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do Welcome, uh, uh, lots of people are asking, especially about the oh, picture sorry, behind huh? us. Uh, um, but. Um, I think we should do like a walkthrough because lots yeah. of people are asking about our pictures. Yep. No. Uh, maybe we, one of the times when we have a, a travel guest on. Yeah, exactly. Uh, because we have some planned. Uh, so one of the times we can do that. <laughs> Phil Cochran. Oh, copyright. What is that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, thank you, Custom Kurtz, for saying they're nice pictures. I appreciate it. I don't buy souvenirs. I'm not into tacky stuff. Most of it's all made in China, and they slap the sticker on, depending what country you buy it in. Uh, my pictures are my memories. Uh, train man, you can't see anything behind because it's dark. Since we have lit up all the front here, if we turn the camera around, we're not going to be able to see what's on that uh, wall. But it looks the same as this one. More pictures. We're going to feature them later. Uh, JJ, not uh, thanks, but not ready, not ready to partake yet on a live stream. I've never done one, so don't have any idea how to do it. Well, what we can do, JJ, if you'd like to be on, is we can go in the day, we'll set up the stream, but you won't go live, and we can just try it. You'll just see uh, literally us 
and we can just try it and see how it works. And I'm thinking that I'm uh, going to be doing that uh, with most guests after tonight, especially with yeah. public. Uh, that's my responsibility. I should try to go on the night before or something or the in the day and at least try it and get the bugs worked out because i felt bad for public up because of that it's it's it falls on us not him yeah and yeah. uh most of our guests haven't had their lives uh appeared on any live streams before either yeah <laughs> so uh, uh yeah and tomorrow's guest actually as well uh so yeah uh, yeah we we are we don't bite <laughs> uh oh well that's a lot of pics i was only seeing three Thanks for showing that was free smell. Yeah, awesome. there's like a third 30 of them at least. I don't know. Yeah. L literally, if you look, watch that video, you'll see one from every country or territory that I visited. I'm only missing the big ones. I'm missing Portugal and Italy. And I can say I've been in every country from Iceland to Spain that borders like Russia, Ukraine. And uh, they're definitely on the list. Uh, Eric, uh, the Red RCI, I really enjoyed the Europe video. Thank you so much. I, I usually don't do like picture videos, but that one, that's the whole reason why I want to do it. It's, um, it's also memories. I mean, because you never know. These pictures could go up, God forbid, in a fire, something happened to them or anything. If they're on YouTube. They'll be there forever. My kids can see them later on down the road. They can say that there was a country my dad was at. Uh, some of them, like Zinni and I, went together. Uh, our very first trip we ever took was actually Latvia to Tallinn's Estonia. And that was an amazing one. We took an old Russian-style Soviet bus. Remember? Oh, my God. Uh, yes, I even forgot about it. Uh, it yes. Um, the windows were all like, you know, kind of... I don't think you can even imagine no. <laughs> what kind of bus it was. But... And the guy had no uniform on. He just... Like he could have showed up from anywhere and was driving the bus, and we left. He was grinding the gears and like that. There was the curtains and the windows and stuff. And it was December. Yes, it yeah, was yeah. before Christmas. Just yeah. before Christmas. I think it was actually the fourteenth of December, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. And we had like the time of our lives. We went up there. We stayed in Tallinn, and then the next morning we took a ferry over to Helsinki, Finland, and spent the day. And we ended up on this boat. And it was the craziest boat I've ever been onto because we enjoyed Helsinki. And I mean, Helsinki is very Nordic chic as well. So we're looking to kind of kill time because we didn't have time to really explore all what we wanted to. We had to get back towards the ferry. And there's this red and white ship, not a big, big ship, but definitely a ship with a walkway onto it and that, some signs and finish. And we thought, well, let's just go see. The worst they're going to do is throw us out. <laughs> and we get in there and the, there was these old, like two old couples. Yeah. And they were selling baked goods, and then they're tanked. I mean tanked. <laughs> there's no cover charge. There's nobody looking after a booth. It's just this weird kind of surreal ship that kind of popped out of nowhere. So we said, well, let's take a look. And we went through, and that thing was full of, like, it had, like, 4,000 artifacts into it of, like, oh, antiques. Yeah, and yeah. some of them were Soviet time. Yeah, like, uh, Soviet the, flag. The red Soviet flag, and yeah. some of them were from other times. This is like, Kind of mystical and you could walk right through it. it even went right down to the engine room that's where the soviet flag was and they had a mannequin there of a guy working on the engine remember oh yes yeah yeah, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was so weird and we were walking all through this there's no tour there's no music there's no charge we don't even know if we're supposed to be in there or not and we walked back and they're still drunk and they're kind of telling us like a little bit of a story or something one guy spoke a tiny bit of broken english yeah, and they were selling like it was kind of like these weird looking things. They weren't Rice Krispie squares. I don't know. <laughs> it was. It was quite mystical. Yeah, place. We, I don't know. We we might have fallen into kind of time warp. Or yeah, I don't. Know. I was almost wondering if we didn't drink something for lunch that made us think the and boat we was there. Yeah, so I don't know. Ended up we were the whole time going through some like store or the something. The time like stopped. That. Yeah. We didn't know where we are. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. but it it was. Uh, very interesting. Yeah, I'll never forget <laughs> that. The it was, surreal was definitely the word to describe it, you know. So, still supports going on. Uh, yeah, by the way, JJ, funny, I have uh, stickers on my uh, web camera as well. Yeah. Uh, very girly stickers. I don't think I'm sure. so, <laughs> yeah, so, don't think I'm. See, I have stickers on. I always have stickers on. Yep. I'm very suspicious. I love conspiracy theories. Well, it is a possibility. Better safe than sorry. It doesn't hurt. 
<laughs> Xenia loves her conspiracy theories sometimes to a to a to a uh, not I don't want to say to a fault, but yeah, she definitely loves them. <laughs> Uh, is it important to place a specific type for your vlog? Uh, uh, can you reward the yeah, question? Yeah, sorry. Um, just heading out to drive in a few minutes. Have to work the last shift for best karaoke results. Yes. Looking I can forward. Imagine. Please uh, post the next video. We love to see them. My God. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes. UP42404 says the government, the government watching is watching. Us. No, I don't care about government watching, actually. I, I more care about bad people watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I don't care about government uh, the least. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't have anything to hide. We're in Iceland. It was the World Cup, and Germany was playing who at the time? I forget now. And it was when we got married, and we went back, and that was for our uh, uh, for our honeymoon. And we're driving through, we watched the, 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 the cup, and then we took off. And we're driving with 20 kilometers away, and you don't see cop cars very much in Iceland. And as we're pulling out, we see a car being pulled over, and they had the German flags floating on the side, of course, for support. And Xenia's like, oh, I bet they're pulling over because they're big uh, supporters of whatever team it was, and they seen the German flags, and I bet you this, and I'm like, do you ever think it's because they were speeding? <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> but Xenia never likes to go down that route. She always likes to juice through the story. Her mind works wonders with stuff. So <laughs> I was born in a Soviet country. Now it's an ex-Soviet country. So I think. Oh, just want to. Uh, sorry, just want to wish a good night to Eric. Thank you so much for care for coming, Eric. And I know you're busy, and everybody can. Even when you can drop by for five minutes. And yes, I'm definitely going to try to put up new content. And I thank you for pushing me towards that because I don't want to let that go. Uh, he has like three videos half yeah. done so uh i appreciate the motivation it does mean a lot it means to really care about what i do and and know i care about yours as well so thank you so much now uh a train man just deleted <laughs> deleted the up 4204 <laughs> comments probably to show that government is watching yeah yeah uh, we're not gonna oh be God. too too wild with uh, the, we don't really want to suppress too many people here <laughs> uh yes and g wade lol Oh, I hope J Wade brings the kitchen ninja on. Oh, <laughs> still, still under surveillance. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I <laughs> we... never thought I would be watching a stream with people that take pictures. I have met so many creative people in this community. Right. I have grown to like watching you all. Both of you are fantastic. And you as well. Thank you. I mean, that's the nice thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm finding all kinds of stuff that I probably, let's face it, would have never gotten to see. I'm I watch fishing channels. Yeah, yeah, I grew up in a oh, rural area. I used to love that kind of stuff. And uh, part of the reason we talked about trains and people have asked me why I do I film trains, it actually, even in the city, I can get a little bit out and it gives me even an afternoon of feeling that farm boy thing again. So, And I want to share that with my son. So that's kind of why I do that. I, 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 I was a truck driver for years. I grew up, we didn't have a farm personally, but I worked on lots of farms uh did the tractors lots uh lots of hay i don't miss the hay so much <laughs> but my alarm says it's time for healthy sleep <laughs> see healthy sleep time <laughs> uh, that hasn't happened in a while <laughs> yeah exactly it's about a couple months too late <laughs> uh, Philip Cockrell. Cockrell. at least i know somebody is watching me talk about you guys <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, this is worth share my video to like it enough on their Facebook. Yeah, exactly. Why not? It doesn't yes, hurt the us. better the, the better the, yep. the the more you share. And again, I I said that yesterday. Share your Facebook, uh, uh, not only on Facebook timeline, but share it uh, yeah. in a message that also counts. So you can share it to okay. yourself, uh, on send it to yourself in a message on Facebook or to your friends or family. Yeah. That also counts as a share. And we got Train Man is sad over here. Are you, are you okay, Train Man? <laughs> I think uh, he was uh, pressing shift there. Uh, <laughs> so we, sorry. We don't want you sad. Yeah. Fishing is YouTube friendly. Uh, we all watch you. Yes. <laughs> Holy crap, it's 10 30. Yeah, I know. I yeah. know. I know. That's I have alarm for healthy sleep, but I never like I I'm never in the bed when it rings. So yeah. I don't know why even I have it. So <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> well we well 
<laughs> yeah, tree medicine. Don't, don't get don't get down on us. Yes. Uh does share up uh your ranking on YouTube. Yes, mm -hmm. it gives you more points. And for every uh, everything that is shared, uh, it gives you more points for YouTube. Um uh, how is it called now? Algorithm. Algorithm ranking, <laughs> and also yeah. for uh Google finding and it just it, it gives you more points uh, for sure. So it's better stumble on uh Facebook, um Reddit if somebody else can put it on, not yourself, but somebody else, uh Twitter. And as I said, like Facebook, the best hack for it, that every private message counts as a share. So just private message to your friends and family are going to have lots of shares. Well, there's a message we don't get every day. Joe Bo is advertising my channel on here. Okay, or will it be banned? We don't mind somebody mentioning Let their me channel. Check it first. Yeah, we, we do not want like uh, spamming. Uh, people here try to be very respectful. Ah, you don't have any videos. Oh my! <laughs> so I guess not. I'm glad you subscribed to us. It means a lot. So, and I hope you get some content soon. We'd love to see yeah, some of the stuff you, you're when doing. When you have some more content, please come back and yep. uh, more than welcome. Uh, yes, yeah. Facebook group uh, can share your videos there. Uh, yep. Yeah, try to be in some groups. There is lots of also YouTube uh, sharing videos groups on Facebook where you can just uh, post a link to your. Uh, in short. All of your platforms, share them wherever anybody will let you put them. There's never a bad place to be noticed. And James had gone through that a couple of weeks ago where he wouldn't his I'm a creator playlist, the infamous list. Now at this point, it's grown so much where people were worried by the, for instance, the list that they were going to lose the views because it was under his playlist. Your work is your work and you're going to get all the credit for it. So wherever anybody shares it, let them have it. I mean, of course, if some if somebody's con like stealing your work, copying it, and then uploading it as their own, then that's a whole different kettle of fish. But anything that links to the work that you've done on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, let them have it because it's always counts as points. There's no bad sharing. Uh, Craig Betts, I'm saying night till next stream. Thank you so much, and uh, it's so great to have you. Really do appreciate it. <clears throat> oh, I posted Donald Trump's funny edit and YouTube removed it. That was Joe Ball. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, you're going to try it again. It. Yeah. Uh, describe it differently, put a different tags in and try yeah. maybe it's, it's not going to get caught. Sidewalk close. Uh, so glad to have you here again. I love you. I, another great channel name. I don't, I don't know where you guys come up with some of these. Uh, it, it's really creative. I love them. It's uh I like looking through sometimes and seeing all the names in our subscriptions and and, and realize just how bright, how, how brilliant some of you really are. What's that, James? I don't know. Uh, Lemon uh, challenge. Uh, oh, you uh, oh, okay, okay, perfect. Yeah, uh, James was doing uh, impromptu uh, lemons for uh leukemia challenge on one of our live streams yeah and i'm assuming you're going to be able to see it on uh, excerpt of it on his channel it's all his uh, tree man what is healthy sleep versus normal sleep yeah well you're supposed to have eight to nine hours of yeah. sleep um <laughs> so i have it as a reminder but uh, it's not, our just, normal sleep is not snooze, the healthy you know? sleep i can guarantee you that um, yeah Sidewalk Close was my comedy group back in the day. Oh, that's cool. Oh. That's really cool. See, guys, when you ask questions, their channels become oh, from... Oh, yes, I will I will give it to you, uh, James, in just a second. Yep. And Sidewalk Close, if you ever wanted, would like to be a guest on here, please uh, send, me, uh, send us a line on Twitter. At Pusha Studios, yes. please find us, and uh, you can... Uh, send a message right there. It's just the easiest way to find us. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, I have so many tabs open. James, you're getting in my head. I have like 105 <laughs> tabs, same as yours. Uh, <laughs> uh, for those who don't know, if you ever see James sharing the screen, there is like 200 tabs open at yeah. the same time. Uh, so I have a, the same thing going on right now. Uh, I'm just looking for uh, lemons for. Uh, uh, Reese, you got an interesting question here. 
How, uh, he's asking a, a really good question. Yeah. How do people create cool thumbnails with words? Yeah, exactly. Photoshop. And uh, I mean, if it's mostly text-based, I really like to try and do it in Illustrator because you keep it in a vector form. Uh, something you guys might know, might not know, bear with me if you do. Roughly the difference between Illustrator, Photoshop, or any photo editor versus a vector editor. editor. Illustrator does vectors, and there's between a vector. Your pictures are always pixels, and as you know, as you blow them up, they can become more uh, pixelated as you uh, zoom in onto them, or if you try to make a picture bigger than what it originally was. Vector is a mathematical-based, and it's mostly for graphics and uh, calligraphy for uh, a type, and you can stretch it from an inch to 500 feet, and you'll never lose any quality. So I tend to like to do those a lot in and then import them into Photoshop or the vice versa, bring the picture background already into to Illustrator and then do the calligraphy on top when possible. You can also uh, use canva.com and uh, try to do it there uh, if you want it to more generic type, but still be able to put the writings on it. Uh, you can create a thumbnail there and then upload it as a separate uh, yeah. thumbnail. I, we always use our own high res uh, thumbnails. Uh, that's uh, if Xenia is with me and it's a video that she's there also taking photos, I'll take one of her pictures and use that. And we'll, uh, we'll, and, uh, I don't like using this just one of the, the frames from the video that uh, YouTube offers. Never, yes, it's always it's actually it's better to upload a, a high res uh, new yeah. uh, thumbnail that is taken separately uh, from the video. Yeah. Well, Canva is how I do my thumbnails. It's really easy to use. Yes, yeah. it's so easy to use, and, and it's easy to use on the phone as well. Like, uh, actually, on the phone app, it has a different uh, options available than on the browser one. So I use both. Uh, like for Instagram stories, uh, I use a template from my app, and then from the rest of the stuff, I do it on the uh uh, on the laptop, and sometimes it's just faster and easier. And so, especially if you create templates, you can just replace some of the things, and it saves so much more time. So uh, mm -hmm. Canva.com definitely. James, I'm posting a link for you. I uh, said last week, actually, I think it was our last tech talk. I think we talked about meals, wasn't it? Yes, actually, yeah. we talked uh, extensively about yep. that. I uh, even on... opened Photoshop and did some examples. Yes, so if you want to look on that, uh, last week's Tuesday Tech Talk uh, live stream. And I thought of an exa an analogy that I'd never thought of when I was doing it that day. Uh, for any of you who fly any amount, you'll know that a lot of the wines that you'll drink in, uh, in air, and especially the foods that's prepared, a lot of times have different amounts of sugars they use and spices that you wouldn't use on the ground because as you're higher up, you lose your uh, senses of your taste buds. And that's the way, the best way to look at thumbnails versus a regular picture. Uh, a regular picture, like you see up here, if I was to make that a thumbnail, I would definitely bring out the, the, the blacks even more. I would want a lot, a lot of contrast because of the size it is. Whereas it would be too much in a regular photo you would start to lose a lot of the uh sh like the dark shaded areas but as a thumbnail nobody's going to see them anyway so you really want a lot of high bold contrast and a great way to do it is whatever video pro uh, editing program for photos you're using do what you think you're close to and then just zoom it out and look at it when it's that big on the screen because i would get roughly about the size somebody would see it when they're looking at the thumbnails in youtube and make a judgment call from there but uh if you go back and look at the pictures and yeah, if you can go back to that video from last week, because like I say, we spent about twenty minutes on it. I'd say at least or a half hour. Yes. And I used some. I talked about a technique that I got from uh, uh, Peter McKinnon that I was just talking the day before about using uh, uh, directional blur. I didn't use it the way he he was talking about so much. I used it my own way, but it was a great way for me to enhance a photo. Uh, the one actually that I use in the video as an example is the thumbnail for the uh, foggy Kingston train uh, video I did now uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, Reese, I use the same editing software as Mill Hill, and I also use PowerDirector. That's great. In the end, I mean, look at Google Docs. I mean, when I uh, just a couple of years ago, you couldn't have anything unless you had uh, Microsoft Office. Uh, there's pretty much clones of most of this stuff, so. They're very strong programs. Just because it doesn't say Adobe in the front of it doesn't mean they're not. Oh, 
and some of them really streamlined because they're made for these things. JJ Sensing is up to four, six, five supporters plus 10 from joining you guys here tonight. Wow. wow thank you for bringing us together. How nice is that? Eh? And I just uh, tweeted you and <coughs> followed you on your new open Twitter. Yeah. See? <laughs> uh, somebody was saying here that they should open the Twitter account. Uh, sorry, I'm just scrolling back now. Uh, yes, you definitely should. UP42. Uh, for 204 you definitely should it's a great way of getting your video out uh, connecting with other creators and it's good for your algorithm uh, so definitely do that even just if you want just automatically set up to automatically retweet uh, your updates even that is good enough uh, but if you want it to expand it more then uh, being active on that is uh, is good as well uh, just use Windows Movie Maker and occasionally iMovie. Yeah, we were talking that about that about that in the beginning. Uh, lots of creators use uh, Movie Maker, and it uh, really depends on what kind of videos you're making and what is the purpose of them. Um, uh, like I know Sparkles uh, by Monica, uh, she uses Windows uh, Movie Maker. Hazel Yuri, I think, uses. Yeah, uh, lo lots of lots of people use it. So I mean, she got like sixteen hundred followers, you know. So. Yeah, exactly. It 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 uh, it really has nothing to do with the way your channel is going. Really, uh, you can make amazing videos with anything. Yep. You know. Uh, so. And a lot I, of the big guys that you're going to be watching on YouTube, remember, a lot of them are sponsored. I mean, they're not hiding it, and they have every right to, and good for them. And if I was their size, I would definitely take sponsorships. Hey, who wants to pay for a camera that's seven grand if it's given to you? And they're good at what they do. It's the same as music. When you get big enough, people start giving you guitars. Uh, or if you do uh, TV, you start getting clothing. It is a natural progression when you reach that pinnacle, and I think they deserve it. I don't ever knock them for it. But if they weren't being sponsored and back when they were at our sizes, I mean, they were using what they had and they didn't update to the latest and greatest every time something popped up. Papa God was, uh, sorry, Reese's Mill Off-Road Adventure was asking about Canva. Uh, yeah, it's both. It's both for your browser, like as a, as a web page and for a phone app. So it, it has what I was saying. It has different options to choose from. Uh, if you use it through browser or as a as an app, app uh, is more geared to social uh, sharing. Like it will have templates for uh, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, like the, the appropriate sizes, so it doesn't get cropped or squished or extended too much. And uh, the uh, internet, the full internet version has more options available. You can make a card or a book cover or a poster and things like that. And here's lots of free things that you can uh, use there. So if Photoshop is not something you want to get into, uh, then that's a really good place uh, to look. Canva.com. Um, try it out. And uh, be, uh, also, uh, guys, if you are looking for some kind of um, tutorials or something more in depth, uh, similar to as Andrew was doing the thumbnail tutorial last week, uh, please tweet us. Uh, just let us know. You know, at Pusha Studios, would like to see a tutorial about uh, I don't know uh, how to stitch together two, yeah. <laughs> two, uh, two videos or how to make uh, pictures pop or anything that comes in mind. Just tweet to us uh, what you would like to see a tutorial about, and uh, then we can do a segment about that. As We're well, trying so. to do, I gotta try it again because, of course, I use Premiere, that's just the one that I chose to use, and I was having trouble with it. It's not showing anything in the preview window, and I'm not quite sure why it's it. It's almost because it sees it as a, I think it sees it as a secondary window, and maybe I even have to cap, uh, capture that separately. But I'm going to try playing with it this week a little bit more and see if there's a way around that. There's got to be, or maybe I just got to go to OBS software. I've been, I, I think it's natural progression to go into that. I still have a lot of questions about it, and I never researched any of this stuff because I had no intentions. We never had no intentions, excuse me, of ever doing live streams. So this is all, uh, this is all new to us, so. Uh, oh, yes, uh, by uh, the way, Train Man, I checked the, uh, the link that you checked. Talking Tom might get a show. My daughter is going to be watching just that if he gets. Oh, my God, yes. She plays with that animal uh, all the time. Uh, Talking Tom, for those who you don't who don't know, is an app on the phone that you can make them talk. 
in different voices and even make different inappropriate sounds. Uh, so if that is going to be a... And yes, her daughter show, loves the inappropriate sounds is her favorite by far. She's going to be so happy. I will have to tell yeah. her about that. Thank it's, you. It's going to be like the emojis all over again. Yeah. Well, guys. Uh, I think it's time to yeah. go sleep. <laughs> I, <laughs> Here. I agree. No. <laughs> and no, we're not going to stream that. No. Um, it's been so nice hanging with you guys tonight. It's been so nice watching you grow. We had a couple of milestones here tonight. Yes. You know, it's been amazing. Yeah. It's really been an amazing stream. My God, it's almost 11 o'clock. I can't, I can't believe that. The time just flies. Yeah. There's too many people. I mean, still, even, you know, it, it's, it's so, it, the same way as when you're having your video watched, we were talking a while ago and fulfilling. It's so fulfilling to have you guys here. And asking questions and coming back. Oh and, my, yes, for yeah. sure. Uh, please don't forget to come back, like, and comment on the video once it's uploaded. Uh, let everybody know that you yep. uh, were here and uh, trooped through almost three hours of content. Yes, <laughs> it's such a pleasure. Um, so. UB2404 says, I love OBS and thinking of doing a video on how to use OBS for streaming and recording screens. Definitely, and please send me a link the moment you do, because I'll be looking for it. I'd love that. Uh, one last question before you go, if I can ask you then right now one very specific. Can you have multiple guests like we're doing with Hangouts with UB2402? With uh, OBS, you got too, <laughs> too many abbreviations there. <laughs> See, we are getting tired. It's like a telephone. So I was just wondering that if you can, uh, if it's automatically out of the box, you can bring on guests. All these numbers remind me of the movie Wally E. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking about <laughs> <laughs> and on that note <laughs> about keeping it real yeah, there and she's she's she, yeah this is where Xenia embarrasses herself yeah and she tries to hide so now it's just me and the side of Xenia's head I'm not <laughs> yeah this is this is not the first time folks <laughs> no, there's too many numbers <laughs> <laughs> well at least we ended it off on a good note <laughs> so real and just for you yes Bush studios adrick city a tuesday tech talk uh, uh, we'll see you tomorrow we like 20 inches. <laughs> <laughs> we're still waiting for the answer from yeah wally e and i, sh I sh <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry um, uh, it's in a good way Thanks for the last. Thank you, JJ, for coming. <laughs> Good luck on your shift tonight. Be safe. You're going to have lots of great songs. Looking forward to it. Guys, it's been such a pleasure. I think you can. Yeah. Might have to have them stream and have the stream pulled up on your screen while the recorder records the screen. Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Put, set up that Twitter so my husband can chat with you. Or find us on Facebook. Because I think he might have some more questions about it. I'll answer that better in the video. She sounds good. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Yuki and Puppet here. God, please yes. uh, get in touch with us again. I would love to see you. We would yep. love to see you as soon as possible again. I, I, we are most sorry for wasting your time. Um, yeah. Because I know you you took your time for this. So I would love to see you again. And we'll, we'll, we'll try it in the daytime where it's easier to, like we'll say, we'll just go on, but we're not going to go live and just try to get all the bugs for, yeah. for you to get on. So. so thank you again for yes. supporting us. Have and a great night, see guys. you tomorrow. Have a good one. Take care. Thank Keep you so much for coming. Bye.